Ridiculous. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I don't know anyone who would watch. <laughs> um, yeah. Me neither. For, like, years. Watch me? Uh, any- anybody. <laughs> who would- who would even watch streaming? True. Who would- Will we be a- Will we be alerted if someone's watching? Will you see that somewhere? Um, you On can, your Twitch, I guess? I've got my stream chat up over here. Um, oh my god. You can go there if you want to and see um, if anybody's chatting or whatever. Um, and you can see our view. Uh, you might want to, if you do go there, uh, mute the video so that you don't hear the delay. Right? So... Uh, all right, so let's. It is streaming. I have a good connection. We've been live for a minute and five seconds. Uh, where did my? There we go. All right. Um, welcome everyone. Uh, we're playing Tin Candles again this evening. Uh, I have four new willing victims. <laughs> um, just to. Uh, Remind those that have seen before and, and let those know that haven't. Um, we're not playing this game to win. We're playing to tell a good story. And, um, you know, the story we're going to tell today is not one of survival, but one of hope and loss. This is a story about what happens in the dark and the final few hours in the lives of a group of survivors fighting against it, losing themselves within it, and inevitably being consumed by it. Though their endeavor may be doomed to fail, it's our duty to make the story of their struggle as meaningful as possible. Um, so I would like to um, go around the, the the table here. I don't want to keep saying table. I'm sitting at a table, but you're on the screen in front of me. Um, I'd like to go around the, uh, the screen here and have everyone, you can introduce yourself as much as you want and share any social media, whatever's, and, but introduce your character, your character's name, and a little bit of backstory. Um, you don't need to give away any details of your traits or anything, but if you want to weave those in as we're playing or as part of your backstory, feel free. Um, so let's see. Uh, we will start with TK. Uh, you're muted. Yeah, I always mess up. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Tyler. Um, I stream under Pika Chunky in the chat here. Um, today I am playing a character named Blaze Winters. Uh, they are the they are horoscope column writer in the Bay Area, very well respected in that scene, and um, they have a, a deep love for alternative medicine, and they hope to share it with the world. Nice. Yep. All right. Uh, going around the table next, we have Shiloh. Hi, Lo. I'm Shiloh. Uh, I stream on Twitch. You here? I'll I'll put me in the chat. Uh, hi, Lo. <laughs> um, um, but, 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 uh, my character's name is Niall. He's a Texas boy. He grew up on a ranch, and um, he he he's not quite spouting the alpha beta male rhetoric but like he's not not convinced by it that's who he is. <laughs> all right um next we have dean hey i'm dean deplanis um friend of jeremy's from the maker community we have a podcast making our way where we interview creatives uh every week and i appreciate y'all letting me join you for this game i don't twitch so this is new to me uh, tonight I'll be playing Bayou Craig. He's a good old boy from South Louisiana. Uh, he's in sales, and he never met nobody that was a stranger. <laughs> Love it. I'm trying to send shout-outs to all the things, but it's only let me do, like, one and then telling me to wait a minute. I'll, I'll get to your Shiloh, I promise. <laughs> Thanks. All right. And uh, next we have Shaw. Hi, I'm Shaw. I stream. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an artist in real life. <clears throat> I'm pursuing my master's in fine arts. 
Um, yeah, my character. I thought since we were on a cruise ship, I should be a musician just performing on the cruise ship. Nice. All sorts of jazz and blues. However, I cannot think of a jazz or blue song right now. So That's me! You said musician, um, and you mean singer or a specific instrument? Singer, singer. Singer, maybe maybe I'm holding a guitar, perhaps. Singing some set, sort of jazz, N or blue. R, N or B. Alright, so, um... Let me read the, the opening here, and I'm going to adjust it a little bit, because as Shah said, um, it was randomly decided before the game that this one is taking place on a cruise ship, a uh, Caribbean cruise, to be exact, um, somewhere between the islands and uh, a little ways off the coast of Florida, you know, kind of south-east-ish. Um, so, these things are true. The world is dark, and we are alive. Ten days ago, the sky, the sky betrayed you. The world went dark, and the sun vanished. You were alone. The fall into chaos was sudden and predictable. The world was filled, filled with riots and fears. Radios promised that the sun was not gone. It was still out there beyond the black sky. Order returned. You heard of these reports from the captain of the cruise ship. Of what was going on in the mainland. Things seemed safe ish, but you were not able to return to port. Five days ago, they came. Now there are reports from the mainland. The radios promise rescue. It never comes. The lights are flickering low, and the dark is where they hunt. You hear screams. They're, they are coming for you. Keep moving, don't lose hope, and stay in the light. So, as discussed, um, the, uh, the the opening scene, you think about this like a movie, right? The opening scene, um, it's these four characters sitting together at a table in the dining room area. But again, there's very low power. What little bit of food you have left is... You know, what, what you have on the table is about what food you have left. Everything else is spoiled. Um, and you're in a, in a pretty rough spot. So, you know, credits roll, and uh, the scene opens with the four of you around this table. So what, what is happening? What's the conversation? So we're sitting around a table of, full of rotten food? Uh, there's a there's a little bit of food left that you know like you're you're finishing a meal but this is going to be the the last meal for a while. Okay. Uh, I should have known never to go on a cruise ship when Mercury was in retrograde. Especially when I planned to come on a cruise ship and just kill the buffet, and that's gone now, just like the sun. You know, they said it, it was all you can eat. I didn't think you would actually take it literally. That was the whole thing. Get my money's worth, right? I guess all the expenses were paid for. But uh, I'm getting kind of worried. I mean, I don't really know. I have a few things with me in my, my satchel that I always carry with me. But, uh, you know, I don't really like to share. So, uh... uh... Nile, what what's what what's going through your mind right now? What's what's happening here at the table for you? Uh, um, <laughs> I'm I don't. It's, it's, you have to improv, I think. I, yeah, I I cannot. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I literally cannot think of any thoughts right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm crying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you're you're in this situation, right? You're at this table with these three strangers, um, having the the last bit of food that's available. Um, maybe um, 
somebody needs to come up with an idea of how to get somewhere safer. You know, as I read, you, uh, occasionally you're hearing screams in the distance, and, I mean, you're on a boat. It's not like distance is safe. So, are we, do we know that we're, like, the only people here? Is that the case, as far as we understand it, or I don't? You're the only people I... in this room that you can see right now, yes. Why am I sitting with this strange people? Do I know why I'm sitting with this? Yeah, show? that's what I, I'm not very grounded in the scene. Is all. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I need some context to why I am. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you know, power's low. You four have found each other here in this area with with some food. Everybody's kind of hungry. You know, it's a cruise. You're gonna meet new people. Okay. You know. So we didn't finish the food. Right. You're sitting here eating, finishing up the last bit of food that seems to be available. But it so, wasn't our food. But you're on a cruise. It's all your food, right? I mean... I think so what it, it is, is, as much as I'm worried about they, I'm worried about being alone. Because there's no scarier place right now than just being alone to be picked off. Okay, there's so... Strength in numbers. I need you to watch my six. Okay. So we so know the, that there's something hunt, hunting us. And... And these are the people that I have left. Yes. Okay. So wait, so the setting is we're on a pleasure cruise, like a luxury pleasure, pleasure cruise. cruise. But we also know that the world is dying and we're being hunted. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Did we go on the did we choose to go on the cruise after <laughs> that started or did it start while we were on the no, cruise? No, it started while you were on the cruise. The, the, that has to be the only way, right? Yeah, we the ship has not been able to return back to port because of the problems. Okay. Why, when did it become pleasurable, this cruise? Wait, does the pleasure cruise mean something else? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I, thought I, think, like I think it's just an pleasure. old, I think it's just an older term. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> this isn't much of a stretch. I mean, this is anyone who was on a cruise ship in March of 2020. Oh, gosh. You know, the okay. world changed while they were at sea, and, and they're dealing with, everything's different now and we're stuck on this boat we don't have our families we don't have our cars we don't have access to our bank accounts I mean nothing it's just us four and this thanks for the follow food we've got left do you think okay, you know what? Has a car? no way well i have vehicles i don't really feel that i need to to share with the rest of you but i i do have ways of getting around and getting what i need please now is not the time for your west coast nonsense I don't really like to think in terms of East and West, unless it's Eastern medicine, because I think that they, they, they know more than Western medicine, uh, because I like to see all kinds of different medicine. Wait, are you a hippie? Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Well, I, I'm a New Age alternative medicine enthusiast who writes oh, a horoscope Oh, okay, pop. okay. You sell Mway. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe. <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm immersed, I'm immersed. And I'm sorry, Jeremy, are we supposed to be, like, diving into our number one virtues or whatever they are? Nope. I mean, you can totally. use those as part of your story, as part of your backstory. Okay. But, no, you don't need to be very specific about those yet. Okay. So how's everybody feeling? Is everyone feeling okay? I'm feeling threatened. I have something for that. Maybe uh, a little mint, some rosemary. Rub it above on your upper lip. She's not a turkey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you trying to marinate me? You'd be surprised at seasoning large birds and curing anxieties. There's a lot of overlap. You'd be surprised. Yeah, what country they teach you that in? <laughs> Sometimes you just need to look to the stars. Oh yeah, he he's right. My grandmama, she had same the same kind of thing. I mean, they, we didn't have a Walgreens growing up. And my grandmama, she'd tell you the herb to go put uh, in your upper lip, and you feel better by morning. Oh, I would yeah. never go to Walgreens. Not Earth never. is my Walgreens. Oh. <laughs> and they're much faster at the checkout lane. <clears throat> well, we we can't keep sitting at this table now, can we? 
Should we I get somewhere right. safe? I think you're right. But yeah. where, where is safe on a boat? I mean, we Good barely time. know each other. I know you ain't they. Yeah. Cha. How can, how can we trust you? You're a musician, the shiftiest of all people. <laughs> I do not have things in my satchel that is illegal in four countries. We're on the open waters. <laughs> There's no laws out here. No countries. Oh, wait, I see. that's not really reassuring, is it? No. Uh, no, no, it's not. I have my gift of song. Sorry, I'm terrible at improv. <clears throat> Should I just break into the song? And then... <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Uh... <laughs> well, I don't... Maybe we should step outside of this room. Maybe, maybe we'll feel inspired if we go and yep. smell the salty breeze. <laughs> I yeah, agree. Let's. let's I mean, get I outside. can't really think of a place that's any safer, like than the, the rest. Like each room is as safe as the next here, right? Like I don't know. The stale smell of, of fried chicken is, is, is making me feel nauseated. Here, right? like, I'm, I'm sniffing lavender right now. <laughs> Making me feel hungry. A fried chicken is. Oh wait, no, that's We need to find hunger. some food too, actually. I'm, I'm I think we're, we've right really just about Make eaten everything that's hungry. on this ship. A fried chicken is. Oh wait, no, that's We need to find hunger. some food right, so too, actually. The, the, the group wants to move. Elsewhere. I think we're, we've right now. really just about Make eaten everything that's on this ship. I say we've gone outside. A fried chicken is. Oh wait, no, that's Agreed. Or go to the kitchen. Yeah, we yeah, follow. What room are we even in? <laughs> You're in the big dining room. You're in the big dining room. Oh, well, there's a dining room. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, there's the a, you know the, the empty buffet along one side. Yeah, uh, three of the walls are giant glass walls. You're in the big dining sections with doors dining. coming out the balcony. Oh, there's a dining room. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, towards the, the other side of the, buffet, the buffet, buffet is stairs uh, leading down uh, deeper into the ship. Glass walls. You're in the big dining Sections with doors coming out the balcony. Oh, there's a dining room. Yeah, let's go there. Towards the other side of the deeper into the ship. Nah, that does not sound good. So, uh, so one more thing. We do we know we're being hunted? Is that what we said? Are we? Yeah, we think heard we are? screams in the in the background. Oh, okay. Nah. Human that's screams that's or so, uh, so screams. One other otherworldly. We we yeah, okay, the I'm just gonna follow. What, okay. what I am have, following what you guys. What have or? you heard? What kinds of screams have you heard? Or so, uh, so screams. Other, uh, guttural, deep from the bowels of okay. whoever's screaming. I am following you guys. You're right. That is exactly what I heard as well. And that wasn't just by you with gas or something. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't just someone eating the spoiled food. Right? <laughs> These <laughs> leftovers, man. The bowels of whoever's screaming. Uh, what, what, I am following you guys. You're right. That is exactly what I heard as well. All right, so um, that wasn't just by which, which way are you going? Yeah, that wasn't just someone eating the spoiled food. Going to the kitchen, going to the bathroom, These leftovers, man. Kitchen so those, close. Yeah. I think the kitchen, yeah, we're eating the food. We need to go either outside or deeper. Which, which way are you going? Yeah, that wasn't just someone Yeah, let's, let's go in the kitchen. Maybe we can scrounge up something to eat. It's so uh, it's a couple yeah. hours till we're back on shore. I think the kids, yeah, we're eating the food. We need to go either outside. Who's driving this thing? <laughs> yeah, let's let's What's go that? Let's go in the kitchen. Let's go scrounge up something to eat. Okay. I guess we got. Is it driving? Are we not just? Sitting? Yeah. Okay. We're we're going into the kitchen. We're going to arm ourselves. Yeah, let's, let's right. go in the kitchen. Let's go and up something to eat. All right, so you go into the kitchen, and it's a guess we got huge Are driving. Are we it's an just... industrial style kitchen that would be on a cruise okay. ship, right? We're, we're going into you're, the you're kitchen. You're now on the back side of going the to buffet arm ourselves. sections. Let's go in the kitchen. A wall of grills, a wall of ovens. Driving? Are we You know, a whole middle section is just like refrigerators. You're now on the back side of it. There's, you know, some of them are open. So it's, it's real dark in here. The further you're getting away from, um, you know, the, the there's there's a, a very light hum of electricity. 
like right the the boat has some um there's you know some of them are open uh, what do you call uh, generators right but like it's running low um and the um, there's not much right the available some, uh, right uh gas fuel wise uh, so it's it's running like, low um, and the, the, but there's you know there's it's really dark that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> <laughs> it's really dark and it's a big kitchen okay i, I find the oven and i turn all the burners on to get some light all the burners <laughs> all of them i so am Okay, so hold Bloody on. Burners. So, um, Dean, and this is going to be our first dice roll of the night. Um, if you can click the um, roll dice button, you're going to have 10 dice, and we'll see what happens with these burners. Okay, so um, you rolled three sixes, so you're successful in, in, in maintaining narrative control. Um, you did roll one one, so do you want to burn your first trait to re-roll that one or continue forward with nine dice? I think nine is fine. Nine is fine. All right. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> okay, so um, you you have narrative control, so tell us what happens as you're turning these burners on. What works, what doesn't? Does anything else happen? What's What's going on? Yeah, so I, I turn the burners on and we look around the, the kitchens illuminated and uh, we start looking for food and weapons. Thanks That's for the follow. What kind of... And, uh... Uh, chef's knives, kitchen knives, anything pointy or sharp. Uh, I, I try to grip a skillet, but it's industrial. It's too heavy for me, so I, I throw it aside and I, I get me a nice sharp knife. Um, I'm not really hungry. We just ate, but uh, I, I've got me a few really sharp knives. But I look over and, and that hippie Blaze Winters is in the fridge looking at spoiled food. Ah, <laughs> uh, none of these eggs are cage free. <laughs> um, I've had a real character development here. <laughs> uh, there's not, there's barely anything here. If we don't get back to shore, we could be in some real trouble. I know we just ate recently, but. I know if I don't get my daily dose of kale, I get real crabby. Well, that's bad news for everybody. This point <laughs> is like these guys hermit. in my group, I would just <laughs> jump off. <laughs> but Maybe okay. you should. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be much easier to feed three than four. That's what I think. Yeah. But... Why don't Why don't you go find some kale? <laughs> you sound like you sound like a Scorpio. I could tell. And I, I actually get along with Scorpios. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Sure. I don't really know. I don't really know much about astrology, but that's my character. So. I like that. <clears throat> so, by you, Craig, you've got a couple of big, uh, like butcher knives or carving knives. Is that what that what you said? All right. Uh, Do it, M. And then I, I'm looking for water too, because being from the Bayou, I know water is more important than food. Okay. Oh, I'm got me uh two or three plastic bottles of water. All right. Um, Nile, what's what's going on? You're you're watching, uh, Mister Astrology over there complaining about the 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 non cage free eggs. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And his lack of kale. Yeah. yeah. Right. Lack of kale. Bayou Craig over to the other side. He's pulling out knives and looking at them. We'll get his reflection in them in the in the in the fire as well. Um, what, what, what are you, what are you doing at this point? Um, I'm hungry, so I'm going to see what sort of stuff, like maybe there's some dry goods, um, in some sort of cabinet that we somehow overlooked previously. A pop tart would be real nice right about now. Um, or whatever they put out for, for breakfast buffets. Dry cereal, some dry Cheerios, even no sugar, Ew, but I'll do All it. Right. So there is actually a, um, on the, the, the far end past the refrigerators, there is a very large um, pantry area. So if you would please roll your dice. 
roll. All right, so you got one six. Um, mm -hmm. I've only got one die right now, so even if I roll a six, which I did, um, the player wins in a tie. So you still maintain narrative control. So what happens with um, with this dry goods pantry? What do, what are you finding? Um. Well, I I find me a pop tart, just one, and it's already open. Um, but I, I, as soon as I find it, I start eating it. I don't mention it to anyone. And, um, meanwhile, I'm also still digging around, um, in the pantry. Um, it seems like things are kind of already rummaged through a bit. Um, don't know why someone would leave this perfectly good pop tart behind, but it's, you know, finders keepers. Um, so, um, not... Not very urgent. Niall's not very urgent. I'm, I'm, I'm just hungry. Like, that's it. That is my goal is to eat. All right. So, Shah, what are you doing here in the kitchen with all these people rummaging around doing their thing? I am rummaging for a large knife. Like a large knife. A large knife, like a big butcher knife or like a carving yeah. knife? Yeah. Like a carving knife is what I have imagined. Yep. I am looking for weapons because I feel like very naked with only my clothes. And I feel like I don't really trust being with all these men because I think she is also playing a man. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so I am going to get a knife and hide it. Okay, so um, roll your dice. I'm gonna roll. Where the heck did my? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, roll dice. Okay. Nice. Oh my goodness. So you got two sixes, which means you retain air to control. Um, mm -hmm. do you want to burn a trait to re-roll those two ones to be able to keep uh the nine dice in the pool? Roll a trait. Well, you would. So whichever trait you have listed is number one. Uh -huh. You would say, you know, I'm going to burn my virtue or vice, whichever is one number is number one. Uh -huh. um, you'd re-roll the two dice, and no matter if you keep the dice or not, you have to use some part of that trait as you uh, describe the resolution. I don't want to do that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So you've got um, two sixes, really which means... Terrible. I now have three dice, so we'll see. Okay, I did not get more sixes than you. Mm -hmm. So, um, describe to us the the knife or knives you find, and what what else you're finding here as you're rummaging. Um, I don't know if I. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide one and not mention, but I tell everyone else to probably arm themselves somehow but i keep the big chunky one for myself all right that's it so about this time you hear a um not a boom like an explosion but more like kind of a booming thud really close nearby What was that? It's it sounded like something heavy hit in the ship. Huh. Where where in the ship do you think that was? Was it outside or was it in one of the rooms, like the machinery rooms or something? I don't know. I I didn't hear an. It wasn't an explosion. It was like a thud. Like a bang. Something fell something fell maybe so you, you hear the sound again and there's also a scream that sounds like it gets cut off mid-scream it sounds like we need to get somewhere safer than this i'm gonna have to agree uh where where is even safe though we're, we're stranded i mean there's there's nothing but water everywhere well, before we leave did anyone find any food 
Well, I, I found some old eggs that might be good. I haven't tested them out, but we could, um, I guess we got some burners. We could try making some omelets. What about you, Niall? You found any food? Nope. No. Not even a crumb. I was going to I say. Wipe that... some crumbs out of my beard. Yeah, I saw <laughs> them crumbs in your beard. I'm going to keep uh... an eye on you, Niall. You are, you are sneaky, sneaky, not to be trusted. Mm. I think those crumbs were there before we came into the kitchen, though. Maybe right. It, it is dark in here. a crumbly person. It's a very Scorpio-like quality to store food in your beard. Yeah, Scorpio. Everyone knows Scorpios, crumbly. Look, let let's get let's get deeper in the ship. I, I say we go deeper and and look Are we going for somewhere to, safe. You want to go towards, deeper in the ship? Going towards yeah, if, the if, if if something's out there banging around, it's not gonna go deeper. It's gonna stay where it can see. I think we get deeper. We get let it let it have its fun with anyone else around here. Let's get deeper and further away. Is it a full moon or something? Because I've always thought that if there's a scary sound, we don't go towards a scary sound. You did say it was Mercury in retrograde. Not that I would know what that means. Well, I, it, you, sometimes you, there could be both. <laughs> there can be a Mercury in retrograde and a full moon. I'm just saying I hear that means bad shit. It, it really does. Usually it just means that all your friends are going to leave you or you're going to be I on a cruise ship with strangers and demons trying to hunt you down, but... Hmm. Mm -hmm. So have we considered lifeboats? Well, there's an idea. Yes. I can't believe I'm going to have. Yes. Well, let's, doesn't... let's get to the lifeboats. I've got water. If anybody's got some food, like a Pop-Tart or anything, it'd be good right now. <laughs> um, yeah, and bam, a Pop-Tart sounds real good. I, what I would do for one of those. <laughs> I guess just yeah, everyone gets... Yeah, let's, let's go to the lifeboats outside. Oh, I see your toaster strudels. <laughs> yeah, those are shit. <laughs> Not even worth. <laughs> Not even okay. worth crumbing. It in your feet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's still driving this ship, so we should head to the lifeboats. Hopefully, we can save ourselves before whatever got the captain does not get our asses. Oh! How do we know that that wasn't the captain? The Tud? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's left of him, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the boat is still going the same speed it's been going for the last couple hours, so... I... Do cruise ships have autopilot? No. Hence the lifeboat suggestion, sir. I've got a feeling we should be moving a little bit quicker. Yeah, let's go find some lifeboats. Let's go. Right, and there's another... Big thud, it's even closer. Um, oh, jeez. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what's, where, uh, so you're trying to head out towards, like, the muster stations, right? So, you're, you're in the kitchen, which was at the end where the, um, the dining hall was. You can, you can make your way out to the outsides, and then you have to kind of, like, find a stairwell or something to get down to where the, the lifeboats are at a lower level. Or um, you can go through the inside and then down to, like, the big, you know, chandelier staircase in the middle of the ship to get down to the lower levels to then get out to the edges. So which, which route do you want to take? Uh, I think the lower edges, maybe? I just heard lots of stairs, and uh, I don't know you can't if be I like afraid stairs. of stairs. I don't got stairs in the bayou. These are the glass ones you can see through. Let's do it. It's the fun ones. Okay, so which way? Stairmaster. Grand staircase. Grand staircase. All right. That's exciting. Um, so I'm going to... Oh, what is happening? Stop that. We're all excited for Bayou Craig's first time um, doing stairs. I'm starting to think that Bayou Craig is afraid of water. So as you, um, <laughs> I just put a picture in the Discord, or if you're watching on the stream, you can see it there. Um, 
So uh, you, you come into this area, it's like this sort of welcome center kind of type area. The lights are a lot dimmer than this image shows, though. They're, they're barely a flicker. And in the distance, you can barely make out, like, the columns and the, the plants past that table. And uh, so you're here at these stairs. Um, you just came down the big spirals, right? Um, and you hear that big thud again, but this time it's a lot closer. And there's this deep, guttural sound at the same time. And it sounds like, uh, so if if you would be facing away from the stairs, it's coming from behind you. If you're facing the direction of this photograph, you're, you're facing the sound. Uh, what's behind us? Like directly <laughs> behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine set of staircases. Um, yeah. Cause, yeah. But you said you were coming down here because you wanted to try to go. Uh, so now you're on the level where the lifeboats are. But you're in the so we don't have to go ship. in that ele elevator. We can go left or right. We don't have to go. That's correct. So which way? Um... I say right. All right. So you said right. So you roll the dice. I feel like should we not everyone get a chance to roll the dice? Well, it it happens as we play, you know. So by Craig. Oh, fuck. Um, so I rolled two sixes, you rolled one. Um, do you want to burn your first trait to re-roll that one? And I'd have to roll a six? No, anything, anything but a one would keep it. I'd lose narrative control though, because you have two sixes. Yeah, you still lose narrative control either way. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, you would six have six four. dice without it. Yeah, it'd be yeah, six I'd... versus four. Yeah, I'll, I'll re-roll. Okay, go ahead. Nice. All right, so you're going to keep seven. Um, well, I, uh, I mean, technically that's two sixes and two sixes, and, and player wins a, wins a tie. So nice roll. Nice. All right, so you're, you're heading off to the right, you said. What's, uh, describe what's happening. You know, this, the sound is coming behind you. Or behind the staircase. I, I, it, uh, is it sound behind us? I, I this glass everywhere, echo. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, do we go outside? Is the sound outside? I don't know. Honestly, I can't tell. Yeah, I think we just gotta keep moving forward. As long yeah. as we get outside, I think we'll we'll be safe. Maybe. Yeah, we we can't stay here for sure. Who's going through that door first? Because it ain't going to be me. Um, I believe in the healing power of music. So maybe the musician should go first. Yeah, the one with the big knife. Hey, I wow. say let's take a vote. Guys <laughs> against girls, huh? Wow. <laughs> I feel oppressed somehow. Well, you can oppress your ass against that door on your way through. <laughs> <laughs> I will, okay, I will just open that door then. All right, please roll the dice. I'm gonna roll the dice. Imagine I just die right now. Imagine, real dice. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God, I do. No, you, I so you rolled two ones. Um, mm -hmm, if, mm -hmm. Do you want to re-roll those two dice um, to keep them in your pool? You would have to burn your first trait card. Or you can let him go. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. All right. Ooh. She's out for blood. So um, players have five dice. They have five dice. Uh, so Ooh. you have one six. I did not roll any sixes. So you have narrative control. So what happens as you go through this door? What do you find? I find a... It, Captain. Oh, nice. Um, how is he? He's dead. Oh. <laughs> he is dead on the floor with blood. Where's the blood coming However, from? oh, his abdomen. However, he seems to be fully equipped. <laughs> Sorry, it came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 
As in, he still has everything a captain has on him. Okay, so he's yeah. still wearing his captain's uniform. There's probably mm -hmm. like a ring probably of keys. some keys of yeah. of such fancy hat. and binoculars and such. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So, did the door shut behind you, or are you telling the rest of them to come in? Oh yeah, I'm gesturing for them to hurry through it. The door is heavy. Hoo hoo. I cannot keep this open with my female arms. <laughs> All right. Well, I I follow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that blood? Oh, oh, oh. there's so oh, much no, of it. Oh no! Look, it's a gory sight. Oh shit! He's so oh. dead, but still so well equipped. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he I was is... about to oh. say the exact same thing, bro. I like. He is fully endowed with objects. <laughs> objects. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think. I think I'm going to burn some sage to maybe clear the energy of this outside area. Oh, don't burn anything. That's how they know where we at. Oh, I, the demons, they hate sage. If you say they it, have to, uh, right? Demons? What? <laughs> well, I mean, well, the dark forces from beyond. <laughs> I left New Orleans to get away from this voodoo and come on this <laughs> relaxing cruise. And now you're burning sage and there's demons. I, I don't know. I should have just stayed at home. It's not voodoo. It's trusted. It's not science, but it's trusted. I trust it. So are you, you're, you're burning yeah, some sage now? Yeah, I'm going to spark it up. <laughs> Practice your West Coast medicine. I mean, whatever is causing the thuds can't be scarier than, like, chickens that have been raised in cages, you know? I'm sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wait, have we rummaged through the captain yet? I nudged him with my foot. But we haven't rummaged, scavenged. You nudge, I'll smudge. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Why are we worshiping this dead man? <laughs> no, I'm I'm clearing the air with with my stage, my smudge but stick. But he's, huh? They're I'm, pressing I'm getting... items to be happening, and you're staging a dead person. I'm sorry. I'm getting I'm getting bad vibes, and I have to clear the air. That's the Blaze Winter's way. There's I... no confusion here. I don't know why you have to clear the air, sir. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I mean, you're not the only one who wants to toke up right now, dude. <laughs> oh, wait. I got some of that in my satchel, too. Uh -huh. Okay. Keep your well... satchel zipped. <laughs> was it a satchel? Well, oh, hold on. Hold on. We have important things to do. Can you get your satchel out, please? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I stealthily pass a dime bag. All right. I hope hope no cops see this. I think all the cops are dead. Oh wait, I just mean... the captain. He's only authority. It's a high seas too, by the way. <laughs> so was... there's no okay. laws. All cops are bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm. I just I'm mean to, they can't catch me in this moment. That was the <laughs> the subtext there. <laughs> okay. So, um, Niall, would you roll some dice, please? Certainly. Mm. Mm. Some rigged mm. ass dice. Right. Yeah. Do you want to um, re roll those ones or are you good with losing them? I'll re roll them. Okay. Um, are you, which card are you burning? It's the number one one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, that, uh, you don't have to tell us what it says. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's a the number one card. card. Okay. So um, you're going to re roll these, and regardless if you keep the dice or you lose them, this has to play into the scene, and I'll give you the setup because I asked you to roll for a reason, right? Um, so go ahead and re-roll those two, and we'll see if you keep them. All right, so you, you are going to get to keep them. Okay. Um, so you've got five, you've got one six, and I've got one six, so you, you win the roll. So to set okay. this up, and you're going to use whichever trait you burned to, to kind of play this out, you notice as you're, you're fumbling to catch the... Uh, devil's lettuce that was tossed your way that mm -hmm. um the the door that y'all came through was still cracked open just a little bit and you notice something blink 
Blink. Oh, okay. Did, did, did anyone else see that? In the door, back that way. Uh, I, I can't really see anything. There's a lot of smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I'm going to add some more. Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what? Uh, but yeah, yeah, what no, you, I, what did I, you see? I, I, it, it was probably nothing like probably not the thing that killed this dude, but, um, there, there was a blink from a, a creature. And like it's it eyes a, blinking? It was, an, it was an eyeball. And, and, uh, fold in your trait into this somehow. Um, <laughs> gosh, um. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't I'm I I'm so sorry guys but like I I think that might be the only person that can get me that excursion where you swim with the dolphins so I'm gonna go check that out I I think it's the guy I'm pretty sure what I saw was that man what, what the dolphin you, wrangler you got more pop tarts hidden, is what's going on? Um, yeah, uh, no. Um, I've hidden no pop tarts. I've merely consumed <laughs> one. And um, then why are you going towards the scary blank? Because dolphins. I don't know what else needs to be said. I, it's dolphins. I'll I'll be back. You guys stay here with the dead guy. Um, don't get killed. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. And I go back that way. Right. So Niall is headed towards the door. Um, what's what's everybody gonna do? I say we keep going towards the lifeboats. I think so too. My my sage is almost fully burnt here, so I'm kind of uh, powerless in this situation here. But maybe we should take a closer look at the captain's body too. Maybe we can find something. Maybe he has keys or something to a safe area. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe we can drive away. There I am in the ocean with dolphins. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I heard, I heard safe. Well, okay. While you were over there playing flippy flappy, we looked in the captain's flippy pockets flappy. and got his keys. Did you find any kale in there? No. What? Oh. I'm <laughs> looking, there. I'm looking. <laughs> All of his pockets. You see anything else over there, Blaze? Uh, let's see. Do I have to roll or do I just keep looking? Let's roll. Okay. Thanks for asking. Um, okay. Good roll. Good roll. Yep, good roll. Nice. Okay. I find a fully loaded revolver. Oh. And, um,. Blaze, you should let the Bayou boy handle that revolver. I mean, you're from the West Coast. You've probably never even seen nothing like that, no. Well, it's true. I've never actually fired a gun before. But, um, you know, I, I was the one who found it, after all. And um, I, I would like to believe that now that the air is cleared due to the healing power of Sage, that my mind is also clear. And I'd probably be the best shot out of everyone here. Oh, just come on, pot boy. You're so high, you can't shoot nothing. You need to let no. me hold that gun. Boy. It's my, it's my gun. I found it first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can have it if I die, which won't happen because I am going to be the one who's shooting first. Now, all I got these are these knives, and they're only good for stabbing in the back. So you go ahead and keep that gun there, Blaze. All right. I carefully arrange the revolver in my satchel. And I also find a small copy of... The Bible. Yeah, I bet you want to use that for rolling papers, don't you? <laughs> unless, unless his freaking virtue is uh, religious, which I guess we don't have anyone religious. No, it was. It's pretty. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm just to wait. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I found a revolver and a Bible. Um, I don't really know. I mean, if anyone else would like to carry this Bible, I, I've got plenty of room in my satchel, but if anyone feels more inclined to take it, by all means. 
Oh, I got knives and water. I think there's a Bible story about that. I'm thinking well, of you fish can confirm wine. it right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. I read the <laughs> bridge version, the King Close James up. version. Um, so, Sha, what, what are you doing right now while um, I almost said Johnny Blaze? Um, <laughs> he's, <laughs> Winter is, is, you know, he's found this gun, he's found this Bible, he's had this conversation with uh, Bayou Craig. Yeah. What, what's, I am looking what's in disbelief at these people that are literally not moving still. Um, oh, literally not moving. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You should roll some dice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Or what happens next? Where did my... <gasps> Wait, did I not... Where did my... <gasps> oh, shh. Coconut. Coconut. The musician got a contact high, I think. <laughs> oh, I think so. I lost my freaking window of... Of die. Oh, Dude, yeah, my die... Join the game. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah, it's okay. Um, do you need your, your traits back? Yeah. Can you give it back? Give me back! Let's see. How the hell did that disappear? Must have closed it by accident. It happens. Let's see. Uh, we went clockwise. Okay, I'm thinking. So you had a... Um, that, that was counterclockwise. No, wait. Did everybody change orders? We did change orders. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Um, okay. I didn't even know we were okay. I know. Your advice. Um, I'm trying to think how we're gonna get off this ship. I don't. Let's see. I sent you your brink, and you'll have to put in your own. Hope. Oh yeah, I can remember. I can remember. I can remember them. Yep. Yeah. No worries. So um. Niall, you rolled your hope? Yes. You burned your hope, rather. All right, so right. on on your screen, you can change that hope die to yes. So from now on, you'll have one additional um, die in the dice pool. Cool. Thank you. OK. OK, so um, Sha, you should see that you have five dice. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm going to roll. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, ooh, two sixes. Two sixes. All right. Uh, do you want to burn another trait to keep it uh, to keep that one, or are you good with it going away? I am consistently getting sick two sixes. That's very than strange. No All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. I I suppose I can burn it. Okay. So um, you're gonna hit uh. Roll dice one more time. Mm-hmm. And then we will... Okay, so you got a three, so you didn't lose yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. So now, um, you've got two sixes. I didn't get any sixes. You have narrative control, so whichever trait you burned, you need to work into um, the story here. And what's happening with this group of people that just won't move. Is something coming? Are you saying something? Are you doing something? I will have to... I have... Okay, so I have to use my... Do I have to say what it is that no, I... No, you don't have to say what it is. Just work it work in. It in. Story, yeah. <laughs> okay. I am going to... Do, do I have to move the story forward or I just have to do an action? Whichever. Okay. I am you're, going... You're playing out the scene, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm obviously an, a noob at role-playing. Oh, no, it's all good. Everybody's doing great. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to... Say <laughs> that I remember a song about this cruise ship that I was mm. supposed to sing before all this went down. And what was the song? 
the song was about a direction. Yep. How that song direction? How did that song go well? Not only am I going to roleplay, I am going to make up a song. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is about a sh a shortcut. <laughs> it's about a shortcut. Okay, you're just gonna have to follow me. I did not remember the song. I was not listening to the briefing, but it exists. <laughs> um, whether or not we we use it, thank you. But it's a song. It's a song. That's all I can say. Man, I don't understand jazz me. at all. It is, it is going to come to me, okay? <laughs> you guys are going to have to trust me on that. In fact, basically, there is a shorter way to where we need to go. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. I completely forgot. Maybe I should have sang this and no one would have died. So let's take the shortcut. I don't have it in me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> it was something about that. Okay, it's gonna have to come to me. My brain does not work as as it used to, my my dear friends. <laughs> what was the title of the song? Maybe we can try to get some clues out of it. Um, the title of the song. Something yeah. about trap doors. Something about trap doors. Something about dangerous journeys your love is like a trap door mm, no something about there is a trap door on this ship that's a really long title for a song the name of this particular cruise ship is love so there, your love Ooh. has a trap door you know it would make sense um <laughs> wait we're on sorry a love... this musician is, is we're on a love cruise <laughs> Oh, it really a is pleasure. a pleasure cruise after all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I, it's gonna come to me. It's gonna come to me suddenly, my friends. Kay. I will have to reserve that thought for a bit. Hmm. And, and ponder what it was about again. That's interesting. I, did, did any of you happen to see a trap door? I've been too busy looking at the stars to look at the, the floor of the ship, but... Maybe we, should go, to the, maybe we should go to the casino. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there is a, a like a slot machine named Trap. I just door. think you want to get lucky. You go to the casino. They need to move cash in and out. Maybe there's a trap door to move cash in and out the casino. Lucky place. I say we go to a casino. Oh, nothing like a little gambling to fire up the old memory banks. As as y'all were discussing this uh, casino idea, the the door that would shut before that um, Niles stopped, there was something there. Is, is starting to, to rattle enough now that you're you're hearing it like something is on the other side of this door. Oh, let's run to the casino. <laughs> uh, time to run. Wait, she, um, she has not joined us, right? It's just three of us now. Well, I started to walk to the door, and then that's all. Yeah, okay. she, she was walking toward, or he was walking towards the door, and somebody mentioned something about dolphins. And there was no one mentioned anything about dolphins. Smoke just... involved. And, <laughs> uh, you know, everybody's about to get. So, um, Niall, if you would, um, you said let's run or taking off. Um, are you you're trying to get to the casino deck, right? That's going to be towards the top. You're like on the uh, let's say you're on the seventh level. The casino is on level three, and. Uh, takes up the entire top deck of level three. We're on the seventh level? Is that what you just said? Yep, you're low seven, because you were originally heading towards right. lifeboats, and between the oh, sage yeah. and everything else, you're suddenly heading now to the casino. The sa between the sages and the songs, you're <laughs> heading to the casino. <laughs> Looking for a trap door. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I guess we don't need to That's get off. That's not how the song yet. goes. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, you're leading the way, Niall. Um, which which route are you trying to take? So your you, your previous where you came from, right, where the big grand entrance was, is mm -hmm. there's something coming from that way. 
um, right. either end of the ship at the, at the, I guess, corners, right? It's like a floating hotel, are some big uh, stairwells as well. Or there is the elevator um, back in the middle section, the big glass elevator. So um, you're leading the group. Where, where are you headed right now? Let's go to the big glass elevator. That sounds safe. And I can see it, so that's where I'm heading. Okay, so there is another route to get kind of back into that main um, stairwell lobby area, right? Um, where you're still kind of away from where that door is, where something was maybe blinking and coming through or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So get up to the glass elevator. Um, and should we roll some dice? Mm. All right. Oh, ew. Um, so you have two choices right now. There are no sixes, so this can end the scene. Um, or you can burn a trait to reroll those two ones. If you do not get a six on one of those, it'll still end the scene. Uh, and it's fine to end the scene. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to burn another. Trait. Okay, all right, sounds good. So it's the end of the scene. Um, we're going to lose a candle, first candle of the night. And I'm not going to be goofy and pretend to blow it out. I'm just going to make it disappear. Um, so there's oh, now <laughs> maybe for the last one. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> So there's nine candles, which means for the next scene, we're going to have nine dice in the pool, and uh, the, the players will have nine dice, they will have one die. But before we go forward, we need to speak some truths. So these truths are irrefutable. A truth cannot be turned over by another truth. Um, these truths set up... Oh, we've got a whole song here. We may have to hear this in a second. Um... These truths can move the story forward. These truths can cause conflict. These truths can cause, you know, positive things. But either way we go, these truths exist. All right. So um, there's an ever-present truth. Um, and now, like, my brain just fried. Where the? Uh, sorry, I've got to grab the documentation. Oh, yes, of course. The ever-present truth is ever-present that the world is dark. So, um, Niall did the role that ended the, the round. So we'll start with you, and we'll go around clockwise on my screen, so I'll call it out if you can't see it or whatever. Um, and we're going to need nine truths in total. So, um, and oh, if, if you speak it first, and then if it's... We can, you know, wordsmith it a little bit if we need to before we actually submit it on the page. So, okay. And you can take a minute to think about it, you know, no rush. Um, but we're going to need two, three, Just... four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're going to end up with two truths in the end. Um, so your first one. Oh. Um, this could just basically be anything that's potentially relevant. <laughs> It doesn't or... even necessarily have to be relevant. It's just true. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, words, brain, um, thoughts from my head. Uh. Do you want someone else to there's, go there's, first, maybe, or? There's. No. There's fresh right. cheese in the casino. Nice. All right. Type that in and click say truth. Right. So the world is dark. There's fresh cheese in the casino. Sounds like code. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Agent activated. <laughs> and and click say truth. That's correct. Your, your MK Ultra <laughs> code. <laughs> All right, um, so the second truth is um, the 
the casino has full power for now. So by you, Craig, we speak a truth. It's getting colder with no sun. Shana, please speak a truth. Um, the ship is heading west. All right, the ship is heading west. Which is interesting because that's away from the islands, which would have been the closest landmass. What? <laughs> <laughs> Geography is important. Stay in school, kids. Damn, I should have listened to my song. <laughs> God damn it. I have posted a song that I have written. I saw <laughs> that. So uh, type in your truth and click the say truth button. Oh. And, and then that, that truth is, is forever true, at, you know, at this moment. <laughs> All right. Um, Blaze Winters, please speak your truth. Hey, uh, demons are real. What? <laughs> demons? Aliens? Demons. Demons? demons. <sighs> Don't throw in NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? There's tons of NPCs. Uh, Just, most of the ones we've met have NPCs. had to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nile, please speak your truth. Um, the, the captain died of natural causes. <laughs> as natural as a... I guess bleeding out is a natural cause. Be, I guess <laughs> bleeding out, yeah. <laughs> naturally bleeding out. He naturally had a heart attack, and when he <laughs> fell, hit the railing, and it punctured his abdomen, and... Per chance, per chance. It exploded all over the deck, who knows? Um, okay, so let's see. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh truth is the ship is listing. So normally, you know, the boat would be going in the water like this. Uh, now it's starting to kind of go like this a little bit. You're you're feeling that thirty degree angle to one side. Oh, tilting. Yes. <laughs> And uh, uh, by you, Craig, we speak your truth. I twisted my ankle coming down those stairs. So hey. don't say I. Well, it says I now. Oh. Uh, so we all know that the first I was by you, Craig. Um, from now on, if it's something that is character specific, use that character's name because a little oh, bit okay. later, if we look back at the truth, then uh, now suddenly Blaze Winters had twisted his ankle and we're like, wait, what happened? Mm. <laughs> you can't delete that? No, it's all good. Um, so that was one, two. Now add a truth that says Bayou Craig above. Sure, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sha, you get the ninth truth. Um, not okay. Not all blades are sharp. Hmm. Not all blades are sharp. I like it. So, and then the, um, those are our nine truths. We started with the world is dark, and we're going to end together with, and we are alive. Please, please state the truth together. And we are alive. And we are alive. And we are alive. Are alive. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, there's we know a few things, right? Um, there's fresh cheese in the casino. The casino has full power. It's getting colder. Um, the ship is moving away from the nearest landmass. Um, it's also starting to uh, lean a bit to one side at about a 30-degree angle. Um, Bayou Craig's got a twisted ankle. The captain died of natural causes, but demons are real. And not all these blades are sharp. So, um, so uh, the the scene opens up. 
you're at this elevator. Um, you the the elevator doors open up, the glass elevator doors open, and you're at this casino, and you're hearing like the you know the the, the siren going and the bells ringing and you know there's all these lights flashing, but you also see bodies, human slumped over, with um, those that are slumped forward. It looks as though like where their spinal column would be is a massive gaping wound. Those that are slumped back, where like their their stomach and organs below the rib cage would be, has exploded forward. But then there's these happy bells and sirens going off and you know uh, tokens, you know, as the ship lists to the side, tokens sliding across the floor through the piles of muck and gore. So what are you going to do? Oh my god, it looks like these people were stabbed with dull knives. As we know, not all blades are sharp. They also look like they died in natural causes like the captain. So Who wait, had the uh, fish? Craig, why did you want to come to the casino? <laughs> I thought casinos was lucky, you know, and <laughs> trap doors and luck. It, it made I'm sense to me. I didn't know that it was some demon buffet up here. Demon buffet. Oh, the overwhelming aroma of fresh cheese is giving me a migraine. And yeah, not any sage in the world is going to clear this up. We need to move on. Oh, we just got here. Should we look around a little bit or... Weren't we here because of the song? N no. <laughs> We're here because he wanted to go to the casino. Um, I don't know. Do we get mysteriously more dice? Well, I guess since we're here, <laughs> let's look for this. Maybe if the trap door is here. Maybe we have yeah. mysterious dice as well. Shaw the um, musician, are you, um, are you a gambler? Is, is anything kind of refreshing your memory about your song? I did post the song as I was humming it just now. Can we hear yeah, a little piece you... of that? Um, uh, basically, I think it's a point of view of the ship. Huh. So, um, to I'm gonna read the lyrics over here in chat. Maybe um um my uh weed connoisseur man here can sing it for me. Thank you. I, my voice needs to be preserved for actual performances that are public. So you're asking Blaze Winters okay. or you're asking Niall? Because both have been partaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can The I can dealer. Try if... Okay. <clears throat> oh, good God. Falling into a sea of painful tears, wondering how I've fallen in. Is there a trap door somewhere within me? Mysterious journeys filling me, I know not what it is. Continually treacherous, haunting my being with its excessive deep guttural noises. It's not easy to see, it's only felt inside me. Through east winds, whether or not I want it to be a part of me. Sorry, I, I recognize that as a traditional um, jester, har harlequin type song. Okay, my thanks. favorite kind of jazz. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite genre of jazz sup. It's music. <laughs> Forgive me, uh, the, the stars didn't smile ones. on my singing abilities. Okay. That was fabulous. Thank you. Sir. I think you nailed it. Thank you. So, they are, should have some hints in there. Are we on the. Is, okay, do we know if the casino is on like the frontal part of the ship or it, at the back? It takes up the whole third uh, level of the ship. Okay, so, so we could probably stern, run... I, I don't know both words. Front to back. <laughs> okay, whose action is next? It's it's uh, anybody's action. Who's, who's doing what? We're in a casino. I want to um... take a closer look at one of the bodies. I'm not a medical expert, but... I want to see if I can. You do like medicine. I'm you not... are not an expert in anything, but okay, I'm sir. Not a medical expert, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I'm I'm gonna crouch real close to one of these bodies. Oh, I. Hmm. I feel the serious temptation of pushing your face to it, but I do not. That's gross. <laughs> well, actually, uh, <laughs> shall I roll your dice? No, no, no. I, I, it, <laughs> this is me thinking out loud. I will not do such things. I'm not juvenile. <laughs> though my thoughts are. <laughs> All right. Well, um. So okay, while well, you are hunched over, ass up. Well, while you're battling your inner demons, which we know are real, mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at how far these chunks have flown, and um, they actually have not flown too far from the bodies. Define still, too kind of far in the context yeah. of guts <laughs> flying out of a body. <laughs> well, you think you think it would be like at least, uh, you know, like a meter, but it, no, it's like it's like a foot. What's no, a it's pretty meter? Close. I'm American. <laughs> uh, speak American <laughs> right here. Well, a meter, um, it's like three feet. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> Please use American measurements. <laughs> Sorry, that's my attempt at a Texan accent, and obviously... It was an attempt. Yeah. Was, uh, buddy, Craig, what are, you, what are you doing while all this is going down? I'm staying away from them bodies and, and looking behind these slot machines for some kind of trap door. All right, roll your dice. Okay, um, I can't beat two sixes. Uh, do you want to keep that one or are you going to lose the one? Why do I have nine dice? Because we have nine right? candles right now. Oh, new scene. Okay. Yeah, new scene. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'll lose the one. Okay, all right, so um, what'd you find? I got lucky. I found a trap door between two slot machines. It opens up, and there's a, there's a, a hallway with lights down the side. You found and I think y'all should stop playing doctor, and we should go see where this <laughs> goes. Because it could go to a safe or something that's very secure. Okay. Wow. Does the song a tell you where that trapdoor was? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's his dice that did. I, yeah, just, yeah. I just, I'm sorry. I just keep imagining Blaze stepping up to one of those bodies like, hmm, no, his chakras are not aligned. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are his guts. <laughs> well, his guts are aligned all over the floor. <laughs> Sorry, so have you, did you get any kind of conclusion on what's going on with the bodies? Like, are you going to poke it? Are you planning to taste? taste? Yeah, so well, Bayou, Bayou I Craig do is called kind out. of. Yeah, he's, Bayou Craig is called out. He's like, hey, I found the trap door. And you yeah, so are we just. Body. So what's, yeah, what, what are you doing? Are we place? taking a chunk with this? Are we leaving? Are we. Taking a chunk of the body? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with the body right now, sir. I, I I was looking at it, um, but yeah, sure. I'll, I guess I'll take a a bit of awful with me. Why? <laughs> you got room so, in your satchel. That's why. So, uh, I don't want to put it in my satchel, so I just kind of hold it in my left hand. Just okay. To, right, so a Blaze, mass. Blaze of, Winters, roll or... roll your dice. Oh okay. Yeah, because the the meat might suddenly start eating your face. Okay. You're gonna um, catch demons. Uh, do you want to re-roll that one? Or do you want to lose it? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and just we'll lose it. We'll lose it? Alright, so you roll yeah. one six. I have a possibility with three dice. Unfortunately, uh -huh. it's one and one, so player uh, wins out. So, um, what, what's, what's happening oh. now? You've, you've got narrative control. You've got a handful of almost said liver and onions, but without the onions. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I pick it up, a deep chill runs through my entire body. And oh. I, I visibly shudder. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <that's... laughs> oh, that feels oh. horrible. He's been afflicted. Oh, guys, I, uh, I feel awful. Like, really terrible. Um, I'm going to keep holding on to this, though. There's something in my, in my core that's telling me I need to overcome this, this terrible feeling. So I'm going to... Uh, 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 I'm gonna keep holding on to it. Blaze, um, you don't look too good. I think maybe I should hold that pistol. 
no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> really, really, I'll be good, guys. I'll just give me. Uh, well, I'm visibly sweating like a lot, like more than a normal person. Yeah, you've got one hand on Demon Pate and one hand on Sage. I, I think someone else <laughs> needs to hold that pistol. No, no, it's I'm in good. the satchel. It's in the bag. Is... Oh, I'm God, good. I'm Let's... going into a safe, secure room with a sicko holding a dead body's hand. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, no, it's good, guys. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm in my element. Let's, let me go. I'm steady. I'm steady. I'm sturdy. Yeah. Right about then, the ship uh, <laughs> tilts a little more to the left, and you lose your footing there in the, in the muck. Wait, I slip. <laughs> you start sliding okay, I... towards the window. Oh no! <laughs> roll, roll, roll your dice. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Do you want to keep those um, two ones, or do you want to re-roll them, or lose the dice? Yeah, I'm going to re-roll. All right. Uh, re-roll those two, and then we'll resolve what happens. Okay, this is my bonus hope. So do I do yes now, or yes after? No, it'll be after. Okay. Okay, so you do lose one of the dice, um, which means you'll now have six, and they have four. Um... <clears throat> So you got, um, since you since you burned a trait, I'm not even gonna roll my four. You've you've uh, you've got your hope. Um, you can switch the the drop down now to yes. So future rolls you'll okay. have that. Um, but now using your your hope, your moment, describe us what happens now as you've got this this handful of guts, and the, the mm -hmm. ship is shifted you're slipping towards the window you've got this cold chill over your body they're all watching this go down okay as i'm flailing around um i i do trip and my satchel falls off and the the gore that i'm holding in my hand flies across the room and splats across the wall leaving an impressively large splatter on the wall um but my satchel falls and a small vial of essential oil um it is uh, um, cinnamon oil. Rolls out and okay. <laughs> I couldn't think. I don't, I don't really know the essential oils. <laughs> well, it's it's one of them. One of the essential ones. Um, yeah, sure. It breaks everywhere, and the intense aroma of cinnamon wafts through me, and I feel revitalized, and I stop convulsing. Ah. <sighs> oh. All right, there's some there's some bad stuff going on here, guys. I, I I would like to advise no one touch any of the bodies. But thank you to the pure power of cinnamon, I think we can move on. Someone smell pop tarts? <laughs> mm, I don't smell any brown sugar, but I I do smell cinnamon. Are we going into the trap door now? <clears throat> I th I think Bayou Craig left without us, probably. <laughs> limped away <laughs> should we follow him uh did he say anything about what are we hearing uh, why don't we call across the uh, hole and ask what he sees yeah what's going on in there yoohoo <laughs> are you still alive yes <laughs> I'm a you're He's a mermaid? Yeah, uh, what? Yeah, what? It, it, this is really cool. You should come this way. <laughs> Does he sound afflicted? <laughs> I don't is know. Is that I, how I he, he hear... always sounded? I can't hear him shuddering, so I, I don't know if he's afflicted hey, or not. Hey, hey, guys, guys, guys. There's, there's a, a long hallway with lights and power and no dead bodies. Let's go this way. Yeah, oh. light's really cool. Okay, okay. Nope. We all, are yeah, we no all dead bodies in the this trap door. But it Ooh. smells like cinnamon in here. Okay, okay we're all walking through. The trap door was inside of us. Yeah. What's, what's the order that you enter into this trap door and into this hallway between decks of this cruise ship? I'm going to get in there before... Uh... Goop Hands tries to... <laughs> I, think, I, think goop, I think Goop Hands is... Situated furthest. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll lead the rear. Or not lead, but I'll, I'll go in the back. <laughs> yeah. I'll lead the rear. 
<laughs> How he prefers it. Oh, nice. See, this is why no one likes. Yeah, but digits. yeah, buddy, you can lead. It puts him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> so everybody goes down to this hatch. Right now, you're in this sort of like in between area, and um, mm -hmm. Blaze, you're the last one through. And um, are you going to leave the hatch open? Or are you closing the hatch? I will. Wait, can I close it partially? Is it like got like a hydraulic kind of thing that I can like go partially, or does it have to be all or nothing? It can go partially. Okay, I'm gonna leave it slightly ajar. Slightly ajar. Mm. All right. <laughs> the most non-committal move you can. <laughs> <laughs> slightly ajar and smelling of uh, poop and cinnamon. The the hatch still has a, you know, what like a like a two and a half inch gap there at the high side the opposite side from the hinge um as you're taking the last couple of rungs of the ladder um you notice as as you look back up one last time you see what appears to be like before right it was bright and now when you look up through that two and a half inch crack it's dark it's as far as you can tell and then what you notice is it's almost like the um, an iris of a giant eyeball shrinks to focus on you as you take those last couple of rungs. Ugh. I choose not to tell anyone. All right. But I, I do look visibly shaken. I mean, you've been convulsed. Okay. <laughs> With the power okay. of cinnamon. I accept it. I accept that nothing is wrong. All right, so you're in this, uh, like, it's like a maintenance tunnel kind of thing, right? Between layers, between uh, floors. And you're headed, uh, what did the song say? Something about the east wind? Um, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. It's only felt inside me through east winds. So you can also feel a, a breeze blowing. Um, uh, if it's an east wind, it means it's coming from the east, right? So mm -hmm. you feel a breeze inside this tunnel coming from the backside of the ship. Is it okay? Hmm. Hmm. Are we moving? Is the boat moving? I wonder aloud. It seems to be pretty chilly, breezy in here. Are we outdoors? But we are indoors right now. Why does it feel like we are outside? Is that a song? <laughs> no, I'm thinking out loud. Because we're getting winds, but we're supposed to be indoors. So should we just follow? The wind hopefully gets us to our lifeboats. Wait, is the wind at our front coming towards us, or is the wind going the, from side to side? The wind is blowing from the the so this this maintenance tunnel runs from the front and the back, right, long ways down the ship. You're about in the middle, and the wind is blowing from the back towards the front. As the song suggested, it is an east wind that can only be felt from inside. So if we walk away from the wind, we're walking west side, which apparently is away from where we should be. Yeah, maybe we can... Wait, do... Wait so, okay, for the truths, do we all know these? All our characters know these, or these are just universal truths these that universal we truths. may... Okay. We we don't necessarily know them. Okay, but the ship is kind of tilting. Yep. So yes, it I... is moving, just perhaps not the right direction. Not right. in the right axis, even. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down the y axis, and we want to it to move on the x axis. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Those do we have to react? Do we have to react to the wind? How do you react to the wind? 
um oof yeah i'm just curious i'm just wondering if it means that we're outdoors so are we in, in the complete darkness right now um by craig you described this hallway with a, a string of lights okay right okay and and yes. think of it like like it's a like it's a maintenance we, tunnel, right so yeah think service of it, light yeah service lights thank you okay so we're not with with craig yet oh no y'all came down the ladder the hatch was above there you're with craig as assuming craig didn't run away no uh, i can't <laughs> run i have a twisted ankle but i know two things if we okay. walk into the wind, anything downwind can smell us if they hunt. But if we walk into the wind, we can smell them too. But we need to decide, are we running away or are we running towards? Mm. Yeah. The issue is that the east is where we're supposed to go, but it means that we will be smelt. As you say that, and as uh, uh, Blaze Winters was the last one down the ladder. You all realize again there's this giant smell of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yes, because he was he he was his um jar of essential oils of cinnamon exploded on him earlier. So as you're discussing these um We can just smell him yeah, these, we... these predator and prey traits of downwind and upwind and all this kind of stuff, you realize again that there's this strong smell of cinnamon right in the middle of your group. And uh, it's not coming from Mr. Cinnamon here. Oh no, it's Mr. Cinnamon. We're, we're just recognizing how fragrant we are. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I apologize. <laughs> because I thought it was something about him accidentally spilling it on something that also smells cinnamony <laughs> as well. No. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I mean, maybe the you know overwhelming scent of cinnamon will be a good thing we won't we don't smell like people right now okay. as long as we got our our little guy with us well, cinnamon's a very powerful scent that can bring you out of affliction actually especially yeah especially a full <laughs> bottle of essential oil cinnamon <laughs> okay so uh which way are you going towards the wind or against the wind or with the wind or against the wind I want to go to the way that seems like the wind is coming from there. To the wind. Okay. Towards the source of the wind, so towards the back of the ship. That's tall. All right. That's where Leonardo DiCaprio said to go, to the back of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to head that way. Um, what, what are you noticing along the way? So this is a maintenance tunnel, right? So as you go along, there's going to be other hatches and doorways and uh, all kinds of other things as you're going along. Did uh, <laughs> did we lose Blaze or did my internet freeze? I don't think we lost him. Oh, oh, yeah, you moved. Oh, oh he's muted. Huh? Oh, sorry, I think oh. I don't know what happened. I can hear you now. I don't know if it's your side or my side. Sorry. Um, okay. So we're... Uh, uh, you're you're walking towards the wind, towards the, the, the back of the boat. But as you're going along, since it's a maintenance tunnel, there's, you know, little doors off to different areas, hatches above and below, access to the, you know, floors around. What's um what's what's happening now? What's going on? Well, I'm in the rear, so So y if you're in the rear, so you're leading us towards the wind, then. What? Leading uh, from the rear again. Leading from the rear again. Okay. Wait, how am I leading towards the wind? Because I was the last person down the... But she wait, the rear of the ship. The ship. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we're going towards the wind. Okay, so I'm at the front of the push. pack now? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Um, all right, it's a pretty dusty maintenance hallway surprisingly it looks like there hasn't been a whole lot of people act oh uh -oh. <laughs> was it uh okay so it really was him it's not me well it looks like 
Uh, Shaw, are you there too? Laugh Bros too. Yeah, they both froze. Actually, down here doing maintenance. Oh, oh. now you're both back. That was crazy. Both of y'all froze, Shy and uh, and Blaze. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We do oh, that's weird. Very um, wait, together. okay. And we do use the same provider, so it has happened nine times. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, sorry. all right. So, I'll just start over. Um, okay. So looking down this hallway, um, as it, as I look more and more down, um, it appears to get darker and dimmer the lights are starting to get more faint as it goes down and it looks like this is a part of the maintenance tunnels that hasn't been walked on in a long time um there's like dust and cobwebs and it doesn't really look like it's for a part of the ship that people would normally go into um and there's more and more uh passageways to the side okay um why don't you roll some dice okay Uh, anything happen? Uh oh. Uh, I may have to refresh my browser okay, here. Well, before you do that, make sure you know your vice virtue brink stuff. Yeah, I just took a screenshot here. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Sorry about that. Um, give me one second here. You should see six on your dice count. Oh, and my true, oh yeah, I burned the traits for good, right? So, mm -hmm. all right, cool. So I'll just write gone now. Uh, okay, sorry, one second. Okay, um, all right. And bonus, okay. Ooh. Yikes. Um, so <clears throat> you did get the one success thanks to your uh, hope die. Um, do you want to burn another trait for to reroll those other two, or are you going to let them go? Oh, no, I think you froze again. Oh. She did, too. Oh, we totally lost Sha. Uh... Oh, there's Blaze. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's a great frozen position. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. All right. Um. Oh, oh, there you are. Maybe. Hello, hello. Yep, we can hear you. We can hear you. We we lost Sha. Uh... Um, I can hear you now. So, what, um, oh, here she comes back. I'm good. Nice. Okay, so what, um, did you, did you want to reroll those Sorry ones? It's all good. Did you want to reroll those uh, ones? No, no, I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Okay, so that brings there up to six. You, um, have narrative control with your five from your hope die. So you're walking right. down this hallway, this maintenance hall, the wind blowing through your hair and spraying cinnamon scents across the rest of the group as you're um, approaching other little offshoots and it's dusty. What, what's happening next? Okay. Um, suddenly there's a really pungent smell of rotting meat. And it seems like it's coming from one of the tunnels really strongly. Um, it, it is not the tunnel that the wind is coming from. So the offshoot tunnels. Yep. Uh, to the to the right of us. And there is a there's an amber light at the at the end there, and it looks like there is maybe a silhouette of someone standing. It looks kind of humanoid, but maybe not. Kind of hard to tell. Ambiguous. All right. So you are headed down this dusty hallway, off to the right, this pungent smell of rotting meat, 
and an amber glow, and in front of that glow is a silhouette, a humanoid silhouette. Um, yep. What, what's the group going to do? We've got this rotting meat smell mixed with cinnamon smell as the wind is blowing back across the group. Players, shoot him. Who got the gun? Shoot him. I can't. I, I, is that even a, a person? I can't even really tell. Well, if it's not, that's more reason to shoot him. You really think I should just go for it? Uh, I don't know. I've never just shot anyone before. Sounds like you guys play a lot of video games. I told you to give me that goddamn gun <laughs> two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's what happens when you shoot first and ask questions later. Okay. All right. I shakily pull out my revolver and... What did you do with your goop? Oh, I dropped my goop a long time ago. I remember oh, okay. it's across the wall. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, that's... yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I have it with my clean hand, though. My other hand is still goopy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with one hand, I take a shot at the silhouette. All right, roll your dice. Okay. You still maintain your control. What happens with the shot? The shot fires. All right. Um, the silhouette explodes into a cloud of smoke, and there is the most ear-piercing scream any of us have heard in our entire lives. Oh, my um, ears. Yeah. Damn boy, you'd be from Texas the way you shot, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Who would have thought it? <laughs> I'm from Texas. That wasn't guess, an insult, Neil. I guess what they say about Capricorns is true. Nile. Nile? <laughs> <laughs> we can see you, Shaft. No, I'm testing. Yeah, my, what do my they say team. about Capricorns? Please. They're really it's... good at shooting at silhouettes in the dark. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god. What was that? Do you, do you guys think that was a demon? It had to be. Probably. I mean, we all know that demons are real. Put the cap in Capricorn. You must still have that Bible on you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, what do you think we should do? I mean, I guess we could keep heading towards the wind, but should we try to see what was over there? That smells. Yeah, it is pretty stinky. I'm a vegetarian, let's, too. Let's keep going. At least we know. Cool. <laughs> I know you're Typical you vegetarian. <laughs> well, I'm not vegan, okay, but. <laughs> I do like Moby, though. Okay. Yeah, we should keep going towards the wind. All right, so you're going to head down, keep going towards the, are you in the same order, and you've still got the gun out in your ungooped hand. Yep. But uh, it's a revolver, so I only have five shots left. Only five shots left. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, I think um, I'm going to end the scene. So I'm snuffing Make out a, a wish. candle. Make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, we're going to have – there's eight candles now. We need to make uh, some truths. So the first ever-present truth – the world is dark. Um, since I did that, um, we'll go around the, the table on my screen. So, Dean, please speak a truth. Um, I'm starting to get... Uh, I use Craig as C-Stick. All right. Craig is uh, Shaw, please speak the truth. What? Okay. I'm screaming. I just... Okay. God. Do you need to refresh again because your internet? Yeah, no, but it didn't even shut. It just refreshed by itself. So, okay. It's annoying. I will... Do you want someone else to go first while I fill this up again? Um... No, you can say a truth before having to fill the other stuff out. So go ahead and okay. do your truth. Um, it's 
something is getting hungry and impatient. Something is getting hungry and impatient. Something. Yeah. All right, uh, boys, please speak your truth. Okay. Um, one of us will betray the others. Sha, do you want me to type your truth in for you? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm writing the other thingies. One of us will betray one of the others. Um, Niall, please speak your truth. Can our truth be about the other characters? Absolutely. A truth is a truth. All right. Um... It just can't refute <laughs> an existing truth. Gotcha. Um... Cinnamon is Blaze's least favorite scent. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff on my desk. Hold on. Like vials of cinnamon? They true. All right, cinnamon is Blaze's least favorite scent. Uh, <laughs> cinnamon is the most favorite scent of beans. Oh, great. How fun. So, um, Blaze, look. not a demon, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Bye, Craig, with our sixth truth. Niall is wearing beach clothes. Like bikini stuff, or Niall's a man, but um, sure. I mean, yes. I'm thinking like Tommy Bahama <laughs> shirt and. Oh, okay, sports. okay, okay. Maybe a, a okay. Panama it's... hat. Yeah, yeah. Sandals, socks or no socks? No socks, sandals. No socks, sandals. All right. Um, Shah, please speak the truth. Um, another truth. Yes, please. Um, okay, I think. Wait, did we kill, did we, did we just kill something? Yes. Okay, 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 yeah, we did, okay. Sorry, I, I was okay. I was thinking hard. I was thinking hard. Um, the thing that we killed was related to one of us. Nobody goes on a cruise alone, right? Mm, I guess. Except the musicians. They're just a little bit fun. All right, so uh, type your truth in there, and then Blaze will need one more. Okay. Um... Let's see. Um... Uh, we are all getting, starting to get tired. Okay, everybody's getting tired. And then, um, as it stands at this moment, and we are alive. And we are and alive. We are alive. Nice. So to <laughs> reset the scene, this thing was just killed down this hallway, off to the side. Um, there's there's cinnamon and rotting meat smells all over the place. Um, there's you know, Bayou Craig. He's he's got the twisted angle ankle starting to get seasick as the ship is listing um 
Niall um, has been wearing beach clothes this whole time. And everybody gets really scandal. Tired. So what's uh what's what's happening now? You're you're still in this maintenance hallway. Ah, uh, I feel like this tunnel will never end. How much farther do you think it'll be till we're at the end? Should we go to the end or take one of these hatches out of this tunnel? No, they all look pretty dark. I mean, do any of them look promising to you? All you, I know, you know is, the... all I know is we've found a demon in this tunnel. I haven't found a demon through them hatches, no. Hmm. Well, honestly, I would love to if I could find a place to take a shower, uh, because. I didn't realize this before, but I actually really hate the smell of cinnamon. It's kind of driving me crazy. And we didn't see no demons till you started smelling a cinnamon. That's true. Hmm. All right, does you... anyone? Oh. No, go ahead. I was to say, does anyone smell soap or anything? Soap. <laughs> soap. <laughs> smell oh, our soap way to the soap. <laughs> <laughs> It smells like shower this way. <laughs> oh my. Um, so... Let's go through a hatch to the side of the where the boat's not listing, the high side, and see if we can find a cabin with a shower. So you start to notice the, um, the hatches have some kind of a label around each one, and it appears as though um, each would lead to like an inside cabin room. Probably for like cleaning purposes or something, but um, it's it's not like a full size doorway, but it's maybe like a, a two and a half foot by two and a half foot square hatch, and you notice these labels across the top of them. So it is it it does appear as though these hatches would lead into um, inside rooms. So not rooms with balconies. You know, there's still going to be another hallway on the other side, but it does lead into these rooms. So wait, there's a there's a trap door in every room. Pretty freaky, right? Like Disney oh. World, they don't want to see the maintenance people. Oh yeah. Like Oprah, everyone gets. <laughs> you get a trap door, and you get a trap door. <laughs> okay, well, I I'm really starting to feel itchy. Just, I mean, I, I'm not like actually itchy, but just the smell of cinnamon is making me feel itchy. So I'm just gonna go to the nearest hatch I can. I'm feeling exhausted. I could lay down for a minute. Okay. Me too, actually. I'm wearing beach clothes. <laughs> you could definitely use a change because it's getting cold and you have beach clothes on. That's true, but... Or inconvenient. Very inconvenient. Okay, so who's, okay, let... who's going up to the hatch first? I'll go up to the hatch. Alright, you're going to... Give it a yank, try and open it. Yeah. Let's roll some dice. Yank, yank that hatch. Right. Yank that hatch. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to, everyone say together, yank that, yank that hatch. <laughs> <laughs> so you, um, uh, do you want to re-roll for that one? Do you want to burn a trait? No. No? Okay. <laughs> so, back to me. So you've got two sixes, I have three dice to roll, and I did not take narrative control. So what happens with this hatch? What's going on in this room? It opens up, and the room is dark, and um, very calm. There's clothes. Someone was in this room, but it's empty now. And it's just eerily quiet, still, but lived in. Yeah, because it has been, you know, what, ten days since... You know, uh, everything went down, right? When the sun went out. So it's a uh, twin room, two beds. Have luggage on one of the beds. It's covered in clothes. And uh, I go over and I lock the door to the hallway. Did we say it was an internal room? Was that... Yes. No right, the door goes out to the hallway. I lock the door, so we locked in, except for the secret hatch out. So, nice and safe. So you went in. Did everybody else follow? What's what's going on in the uh, in in the maintenance hallway? Yep, I I follow, and I start trying to look for the bathroom. 
All right. It's, um, it's an right. internal room in a cruise ship. It's, it's right there. <laughs> Not a very... stepped, stepped in the toilet on the way in. <laughs> okay, so um, roll some dice and let's see if you, uh, what, what you find. Okay. Are you talking to me? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, do you want to reroll anything to hang on to that one? Um, no. Okay. So we'll do that, and we'll do that. And you retain narrative control. So you're looking for the bathroom in the dark. What happens? Okay. And I I find the shower. Um, it's dry. Hasn't been used. And there's not really any smell of, uh, you know, soap or anything unusual. But um, I am eager to take a shower, so I am going to go ahead and uh, close, lock the door and, and go for it. And go for it. I don't think I've ever heard of someone taking a shower as, and go for it before. That's good. It's like a mission, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're, you're locked in there taking a shower. Um, what's mm -hmm. everybody else doing? Um, what are you? What are your thoughts right now? What's going on? I oh, yeah. Hmm. We're following. Um, we're following him down the trap door, right? And Tyler has decided to take a shower. Who? <laughs> Who decided oh. to? <laughs> blaze winters stumbled through the trap door blaze it blaze yeah. it yeah has gone into the bathroom okay i have decided to lock him in there oh, he locked the door himself from the inside but yeah there, there is furniture in the room and stuff you could you know bar the door yeah from the inside. i'm gonna bolt it i'm gonna bolt it I'm gonna Michael Bolton it. Oh, not Michael Bolton. <laughs> but I did not mention it to the rest, so I'm just gonna follow across with um break. Right. So you you stealthily piled furniture in front of the bathroom door. No, I'm just gonna jam it with like a a chair, stealthily. And it's dark. He wasn't looking. Okay. Yeah, nobody it's knows. Dark. That's fine. Um. Okay. Why don't you problem later. roll the dice? I'm gonna roll it? Yep. Okay. I hope you get a splinter. Oh. <laughs> oh no, did she just freeze? Uh. I still see you, please. Yeah, weird. I wonder what's going on. Y'all in like spring or something? Are y'all are in, are y'all in Texas in Houston? I don't know if that's no, taboo. But... They're not. They're it's not like... local. No. Can't you tell from uh, Ty's background that he's very clearly in some uh, <laughs> like a, a spa or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting a massage earlier and then just jumped on stream. <laughs> what almond scented towels? Off, oh just off screen. Worse. Oh, hey, you're back. Holy balls. Um, okay. Yes, please roll. Holy shit balls. <laughs> okay. I don't know why when I click roll dice, it doesn't roll. Uh, you have to refresh, have to refresh, again, refresh maybe? again. I'm going to Kim's myself. It's okay. Kim's. Take, take a screenshot of the traits and just so you'll have them. You don't have to type it in every time. Okay, I'm going to. Can you give me the dice first? Uh, yep, there you go. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So one. that's going to end the scene, unless you want to burn a card and try to uh, re-roll that one and hope for a six. So it, so I don't bolt it unless I get a six. No. Uh, I will have narrative control. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I can roll again. Okay. So let me. Uh, you want to try and burn a card to roll that one? All right. Go ahead and roll. Okay. You still oh, have the die. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so since that was such lucky. a failure, but you burned a virtue, um, I'm going to let you go ahead and take narrative control and describe what happens, but it has to be negative somehow. And it has to be. Yes, and so roll in whichever trait that you just burned. Okay. Um, 
which I guess is my second one. Yes. Right. Whichever one was number two. Um, it was. So I have to do something related to that. Yes, you have to use that to influence the actions. But because of the dice roll, it has to be negative. Uh, okay. Um, so I guess it's negative, and I'm going to have to tell the truth that I do not trust um blaze it and hence i think he's going to turn into something i have decided to bolt him in the bathroom okay i hope everyone does not mind thank you all right so you, you bolt him and then just immediately turn around and tell everybody yeah <laughs> because <laughs> apparently denounce it i am just keep it in yeah was and i'm stealthy and then i was i am going to yell it at him in the shower as well by the way you're bolt in i do not trust you and we're probably going to leave you here um <laughs> Unless everyone decides to turn on me. Okay, so that that's gonna end the scene. And okay. uh, oh my gonna, god, <laughs> we're gonna lose a candle. Um, okay. we need to do some some oh, tricks. Oh my candle! <laughs> oh, was that the one that was yours? Sorry, broken. Um, so as always, the the first and ever present truth: the world is dark. Um, Sha, since you rolled the dice that ended the scene, please speak your truth. Um, um, Craig <laughs> realizes the water is rising. Thank you. You're naked and going to drown. <laughs> well, there was a little extra there that, so I mean, he doesn't. Yeah. It's just rising. Okay. So it could Craig, it could I mean by who knows? Craig realizes that the water is it, rising. Did you mean Blaze you seem... realizes? No, yeah. So the water in the bathroom is coming up and the water in the boat is also rising. Oh, okay. So um Craig realizes that the water like the boat's sinking, basically. And Craig realizes. Is that what we're saying here? Yep. All right. So um, we don't know if Blaze it is um it's just blaze. Blaze it. We don't know. We don't know if blaze it is is but, alive in yeah, there. Yeah, we don't know. We anymore. get some more truths. So uh, okay, blaze, please speak. Let the me. Truth. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm relogging in for his sake because he says he doesn't hear me. Okay. Um, blaze had water in his ears and didn't hear that. He was being betrayed. Okay, Blaze doesn't know. Uh, Niall, please speak your truth. Um, Niall went on, the, came on this cruise with his grandma. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Yikes. All right. <clears throat> I bet I'm tight. What's said grandma's? Um. <laughs> Right, now I came on the cruise with grandma. Um, oh no, abuela. Abuela, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so <clears throat> the the hallway. It's full of giant eye demons. Eye demons. Just, well, that like, developed quickly. Giant eyeballs <laughs> that can blink. <laughs> what happened to the thing that's impatient? Oh. Ooh. That was my grandma. Sorry. <laughs> Niall is in denial. <laughs> Niall is in denial. <laughs> Our buddy oh, Craig? That wasn't my grandma. I, I dropped my knives and bottles of water back in the hallway. 
Oh no. All right. Well, now um, the eye demons are gonna drink all our water. <laughs> uh, shop, we speak the truth. Um. Okay, sorry. Okay, Blaze realizes water is up to his hip. <laughs> I just realized it. <laughs> okay. All right. Jeremy, is there a reason why I can hear everyone except for Shaw and everyone else can hear Shaw except for me? Yeah, it, he might yes. have me like muted. Like the if he has to right click on my face and yeah, see right if he click, has me. Right click on Shaw's face. Do you have her muted or her user volume turned down? Nope. Hmm. I don't know. Um. You can you can try uh leave the Discord chat and then come back. Like, hang up and come back in? Yeah. Testing, test, testing, test, testing. Oh, there was a bug then. That's good. Would have been oh. funny if you were just, like, acting like you were talking. Anyway, <laughs> um, Blaze, <laughs> please okay. speak our, our final truth here. All right, um, despite Blaze's best efforts, he still smells faintly of cinnamon. Oh my god. <laughs> she was raised in water, it still smells the same. Alright, and our final truth, and we are alive. And we are alive. And we are alive. We are alive. We are alive. Alright, so, um, everybody knows the setup. Uh, Shaw's got her back to the door, just told everybody she locked Blaze in. He's realized he's up to his hips. In, in the water and it's rising and Craig realizes that the water is continuing to rise in the room um, and which means within the ship so what's going on I I will be right back yeah you want to uh, can we take like a yeah 30 second 60 second break sure uh, actually yeah I, I need to use the bathroom real quick yeah, so quick bathroom break. I'm gonna get a drink My uh, Discord decided to reboot itself. There we go. Wow, they're having great technical issues.
the average play time on this game, Jeremy? Um, the last three sessions were only about two and a half hours. And uh, we're, we're rolling up on that here in about 20 minutes. Um, so we've got some a few more candles than I expected at this point, but they'll, they'll go quick. I wonder if we need more direction from you in the storyline. I don't know. I'm no expert. Uh, that's fair. You know, um, different groups with different experiences, mm -hmm. you know, and all that kind of stuff. Um, as I think uh, Dean said early on, and you said, Shab, that uh, role playing is new to both of you as well, right? Um, mm hmm. Just something fun to try. I can I can inject a little bit more here if you'd like. Um, basically, I'm looking for opportunities as you're telling the story to inject in the dice rolls. Oh, right? I see. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I think I should have come mentally prepared to do an improv, which I did not expect because I thought it was more um, scripted. As many times as I said, this isn't D and D. This is improv and dice rolls. Mm hmm mm hmm I didn't expect the improv part. I, I expected more I expected more of the dice roll part. <laughs> Does anybody have their camera up at the moment or is it everybody but you? Yep. Okay. It keeps like every time someone cuts out of one, it won't they don't come back. I'm gonna leave the call and come right back. Okay. Oh, just kidding. Suddenly everyone Okay. Oh, it's because I hadn't touched my computer in a while, maybe? It was like a screensaver thing happening. Okay, so it's a uh, new scene now? Yes, sir. Now we are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, splish Splash, taking a bath. Um, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> whoa, water's getting really high. I don't know how I didn't notice this, but whoa! Um, so I, I go ahead and I turn off the shower. I, I'm feel clean, but um, I am I am in hip deep water, and I try to open the door, but it's locked. I start banging on the door. Um, roll your dice. Okay. Um, I will not burn a trait. Okay. So you're gonna go back to six. I will have four. All right. Please continue. Okay, I'm banging on the door. Oh wait, I don't think it's gonna pick up yeah, on my we mic. Didn't hear that. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? Why is the door locked? Uh, hello, hello. Uh, Dean, we can't hear you. You mute it. I, I'm actually muted. It's not a technical thing. I hear him banging on the door, and I go over to help him. I that push means... Shy out the way, and I start trying to get this door open. All right, roll some dice. Yeesh. Ooh. Okay. The um... water pressure. Water pressure. Oh. Yep. So, um, you... I don't believe... do you want to... I don't believe... <laughs> that was a mistake. Um, <laughs> Buddy Craig, do you want to uh, uh, burn a trait to reroll those ones? Yeah, how do I know how many traits I have left? I think I have two. I think you have two as well. You've only used your first one. Okay. So Yeah, I want to burn some traits. Okay. Burn a trait. All right, so reroll those two. And if you get a six, um, then we'll see what happens. But okay, so you did not. So Fuck. the scene's going to end here. Um, you're uh, oh. trying to get the door open. You've pushed you off to the side. Um, Y'all have started to hear Blaze uh, screaming, and now it's starting to gurgle. And um, that lock is not budging. Um, we're going to lose a candle. Let's see. We're going to lose a man. Maybe. Who knows? This one. Amen. Well, you don't know what else I got <laughs> in my satchel. Oh. So we need to speak. I thought you were naked. I, my satchel's always nearby. He I always bathes with his satchel. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the ever present truth the world is dark. Um, by you, Craig, it was your role that ended the scene. Please speak the first truth. We're going to need six truths this time. 
So what's our first one? Let me see. How high was the water in the last one? Well, it was hip high, but it sounded like he shut it oh, off. Oh, it's just hip high in the bathroom. Yeah, but the rest of the boat, I noticed it's rising. You yes, you do. Yeah, the water is up to our knees in All the right. room. Oh, this thing is going down fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the water's up to your knees. Um, Shah, please speak your truth. Um. Um. I see Niall with some a bunch of keys hanging off his pocket. Niall has a. It's a keychain, key ring, bunch of keys. Uh, yes. Where are the beach look? Bunch of... Uh, okay. Alright, uh, Niall. It's like a key. <laughs> um... All the giant eye demons are weeping. That's extremely disturbing. I love it. <laughs> please, please speak a truth. Um. The uh. Oh man, suddenly I'm drawing a blank. Um, <clears throat> uh, t -t 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 I was falling in love, and I was falling apart. Let's see here. Um, Nothing I can do. The <laughs> lifeboats <laughs> are being cast away. All right. The lifeboat's been cast away. Excuse me. What? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Um, I'm number five. Um, uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. Um, That. So when Craig pushed Shaw out of the way, the knife she had hidden has slashed her leg. Oh. And it's bleeding badly. Even though the blades weren't sharp? Wait, whose legs? Some... Oh, not all, so some could yeah, be. Some okay. Could be. So who's, whose leg is getting slashed? Your leg. Yours. Your leg was slashed. It's fucking... Okay, so now we have two people who are, like, immobile. And, um, that's one, two, three, four, five. I need one more truth from Bye Craig. The generators are failing. Alright, generators are failing. And for now, we can say, and we are alive. And we, and are, we are alive. And we are alive. All right, so you know the situation. Um, Shah's been pushed down. The water is knee deep. So when she went down, you know, she's like down. Her, her head's barely above water. And under the water, her, her leg has been cut, and she's bleeding out pretty badly. The, um, okay. the door's still locked. Um, Blaze is, is trapped, gurgling his cinnamon water in there. <laughs> and uh, you, you can't see outside, but you're hearing these, um, like, crying guttural sounds, right? Very sad sounding giant eye demon weeping sounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ugh. Craig, you alright? <laughs> they sound almost pathetic. 
was my eye demon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's uh what's going down? What's going on now? Well, I'm flailing, um, but I noticed there is a panel in the ceiling. This is a ship of hatches. But um yeah. I guess I'm kind of on my own in this. So I'll I'll let you uh you guys try something first. Well, I mean, if, if you're ready to roll some dice. I guess so. Okay. Um, yeah, I try to um, I try to move the hatch and see if I can try to get into the ceiling. All right. Roll your dice and let's see what happens. So you did get uh, two successes and I got no successes. So what's... All right. And it doesn't have to be positive. You just have narrative control. Okay. Um. Yeah, I uh, I punch out the ceiling panel and I stick my head up in there and I can see that there's maybe some room to crawl, but I don't really have a whole lot of time. Um, but it doesn't look like there's any kind of hatches that would connect into the cabin next to it, so I'd have to keep going on um, and move on down to unknown areas. So, um, well, I don't know who locked me in here, but uh, screw you all, I'm out. So I'm gonna begin crawling away. All right. So, as as he's crawling away, what's what else is going on here? Because, um, I by I pick was... Shaw up. I feel bad because I pushed her down <laughs> to cut herself. So I'm trying to be helpful oh, no. and get her up and bandage this badly bleeding leg. What are you What are you bandaging it with? Some clothes I found laying around the, on that guest bed. All right. Roll some dice. Do you want to re-roll to save that one? No. Okay. So, uh, you still have narrative control, so please continue. So, I get her up. It's still bleeding, but not as bad, but it's still bleeding. And I don't know what to do. And I look over at... It's now, Nall? Nall. Nile, look yeah. over at Nall, and Dude. I'm like... Niall, that's right, Niall. I look over at Niall, and I'm like, I need some help. Tell me what to do. I've never done anything like this before. Niall finally comes into the room. <laughs> oh, I thought, Niall, weren't we all in the room? Oh, you walked in. No. <laughs> <I never. laughs> um, I've been out in the hall with the crying demons. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that later. What's going on? <laughs> uh, hey, she's bleeding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what what are, what happened? Does anybody have any medical training? I don't I I don't know how to do this. Okay, are we assuming I have alternative that medical training? Okay, I have this soggy bag of weed. We don't know that he has escaped, right? So we are assuming I mean, he, that he, Blaze it. He, he said he left. He yelled. I don't okay. know if he heard him. Okay. Okay, okay. Due to pain. In pain too. So we're all kind of in pain. Okay. Uh uh -oh. <laughs> oh geez jesus wow. so, so you you bandaged her I, I... haphazardly <laughs> I, I, yeah i don't know what i'm doing i just wrapped a bunch of shit around her leg it's okay. not bleeding as bad but it's still bleeding does anybody know anything about first aid mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. i i guess i lean to onto these two people and i say we just need to go forward at this point out of this water onto drier ground. Yeah, we probably should go up. That mm -hmm. makes, makes sense. Towards um, the ceiling as well. Oh, damn. <laughs> Here, I uh, thought I left him for dead. But... <laughs> Alright, so how are, how are you trying to go up? If you go, on the, if you go out towards the hallway, you know, you're hearing all kinds of crazy sounds out in the hallway. Um, the um, maintenance area that you were in before that's basically completely underwater now you're um it's waist deep water in the room and you're hearing you know kind of like thump 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 above you <laughs> more thuds uh well i'm gonna kick this chair away from this door and see if our friend is okay uh all right when you kick the chair away uh roll some dice 
can't kick and roll dice at the same time. Sure you can. All right. Well, you have uh, your your holy. Poop. <laughs> you're, you're okay though because your hope die. It it rolled on a five and you're good there. So what is um. What is your uh, what's what's happening? You're gonna kick the chair away, but there's there's pressure behind that door from the water inside. There's more water inside the little bathroom thing than outside. That's weird. Um. Okay. So it yeah. So the, the I have managed to kick the the chair away, and the door doesn't. I guess it does open. No, it sort of opens. A little bit. It's partially ajar. It's non-committal, just like that hatch. And so um, I peep in there and don't see Mr. Winters. Um, so that tells me that somehow he got out of this room. And I go, hmm. How? And I check to see if there's, like, a way to go down, like, the drain? But that doesn't make any sense. So uh, then I look around and see the hatch. And it seems like with this much water, we could probably get up there pretty easily by swimming at this point. Um, and um, handing our injured friends to each other to get out. So, hey, guys. Our friend found a way out. You're muted again. Let's follow him. Okay, so you're going to swim up to it as the water's rising, getting closer and closer to the to the ceiling in the room. You're going to kind of swim up that way and try and crawl through. So um, are you going to try and push Shaw through first since she's the most injured? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Uh? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> No, because if she's the most injured, we need somebody that can help pull the pull her up. Once she's up there, she can't do anything. I'm gonna go up there, and then I'll pull her up, and then we'll pull you up. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's let's do a couple of rolls here and see if we can make this happen. So, um, uh, by you, Craig, you'll roll first, please. You're crawling in yourself. Do you want to try to save Ooh. those ones? Yeah. So I got one virtue left, or whatever. Okay, go ahead and roll that. And you did save them. Um, oh, wow. So you still have five, but I have five. Okay, so um, you have narrative control, and um, you have your, your virtue there that you need to um, work into how this is going to succeed here or, or fail. Um, you know. So and- I'm extremely helpful. I get up there, and I'm able to help her up. Uh, I'm able to grab on to Shy and help her mm-hmm. the hole, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know if you want her to roll to get successful or not, but I'm able to get up there and help others get in through this hatch. Yeah, no, using your, your virtue of helpfulness and uh, your your successful role, you're, you're able to pull her up. Um, so what's going on with Niall then? Are you asking me or Niall? Asking the group, there's like a you yeah. Know, so I help half of, of Ja Arla, up, right? Yeah, and, and we both help Nile to get through the hole, so all three of us can get in this hatch. Okay, so now go ahead and roll. Do you want to try and save that one? No. No. All right, that's fine. It was a tie on the sixes, so you've got narrative control. What happens next? Um, okay, so we wind up up in wherever. Did we say where the hatch led us to earlier, or do we know what's beyond? What? Bla- nope, nobody said. Didn't. Blaze is, nobody. Blaze okay. is up there somewhere. It's just in there. <laughs> sort of in a in a sub ceiling. With a, a hint of cinnamon, and the water. I smell <laughs> cinnamon. Yeah, I smell yeah, cinnamon we're... that way. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So we we get up there and we can smell we can smell the cinnamon still because that was not a fruitful shower, um, and so, <laughs> uh, 
since Craig says that he can smell the cinnamon, we follow Craig's nose. Smell your nose. And um, in this this hatch is um, like the ventilation system. Very large ducts, though. Like we can comfortably crawl around um, in terms of whether or not we fit here. And that's nice for Craig's uh, twisted ankle. So and uh, maybe not as like... maybe not as knees. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so y'all are crawling along, and um, Sha is, is struggling as well, leaving a, mm-hmm. a kind of a smeared blood trail behind as she's mm-hmm. still continuing to bleed out. Um, so, um, Sha, is there anything that you're trying to accomplish right now besides staying conscious as you're losing blood? No, actually, there's nothing I'm trying to accomplish right now, but. Should I, should, I should be trying to accomplish something, right? I, I'm just asking. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do I want something to happen now? No. Okay, you say no. No, I'm following. I'm following. Then I'm going to reach over and snuff out a candle in the scene. Okay. So we need um, five truths. The first one is always, the world is dark. Um... So, um, Craig, if you would please uh, speak a truth. You're muted again. I do that when I'm chewing on the ice. Um, <laughs> group can hear Blaze or something scuttling in the distance. We think it's Blaze. Okay, something scuttles in the distance. Shaw, please speak a truth. Um, hmm. Where is my thing? Okay, I'm typing it. We didn't find Blaze, right? Not yet. Just the smell of. Well, I hope she doesn't <laughs> find me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Blaze finds a deflated giraffe and starts. In, in the air duct? Yeah. All right, Blaze finds a deflated raft. Imagine if we all survived this. We're not supposed to, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, Niall, we speak the truth. The demons are the only reason the ship hasn't sunk yet. All right. Please, please speak the truth. There's a helicopter on the top of the boat. Ooh. Ooh. Who did the helicopter come on a cruise with? (laughs) (laughs) Your grandma. Uh, let's see, that was one, Grandma two, flew three, us four, here. Four, five. <laughs> I get the last truth. Um, let's see, the last truth. Um, let's say. Um, Craig is afflicted. But he didn't play with the, f- okay, the meat. There's been a lot of water. The man meat. A lot of water. Oh my god, a lot of water floating around, and who knows what. Thought happened. it was seasickness. Okay. Yeah. Demon tears. You know demon those demon tears. fluids. Demon so, tears. Uh, yeah. And we are alive. And, and we, we are, are alive. alive. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a lot going on here, inside this uh, air duct. Shots bleeding out. <laughs> Craig is, is feeling worse and worse. He's got a busted ankle. Um, you're, you're catching wafts of cinnamon from a certain direction. Um, <laughs> Blaze, what's what's happening for you? Well, I've got this deflated raft, and um, I am, I'm still crawling. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of uh, prospects here, but I do see another 
ceiling hatch. Um, seems to be pretty far away, but I can hear the rest of the the group back there. Okay. And um, I, I I do not want to be next to them because I don't know who's the one who locked me in. All right. So I'm gonna keep making my way over to the the ceiling hatch. Okay. Um, roll your dice. Hold on. So you get okay. five now. One sec. Oh, whoops. Yep. Sorry. Uh, reroll. Oh, you want me to roll again? Yep. You didn't have all the. Okay. So you did... okay. still got one. So that's fine. Um, I roll my five. Um, so I gain narrative control. Um, so you found the hatch. You've got this deflated um, raft with you. And you're crawling along. And as you're trying to crawl out of the hatch, it actually triggers the um, little combustive thingy that starts the raft to inflate and oh my goodness this is a full-size raft for like eight people and it's inside this little tiny you know big enough for a person uh air duct so as it starts to inflate it's now pushing on the sides of <laughs> of, of the uh, uh of the... blaze it well so he's he's kind of he's trying to climb out but it's forcing him up against like pressing him up against the the inside and, oh, and the, the y'all can y'all heard the the pop of the mechanism and as it's starting to fill and the air duct itself is starting to buckle and the whole thing the, the whole section that all of y'all are in sort of collapses into the water with a splash and starts to sink down and it's filling with water from the sides, rushing in. <laughs> Loving the sound effects. And Blaze is just barely hanging on to the hatch that's that's keeping the um it, it's so it's it's sinking down more on the side where the other three people are as the water's rushing in and his fingers are starting to slip. Um what's uh so Sha's bleeding out and Um, so casual. Yeah, so casual, just like that. Um, what's 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 going on now? The um, as so basically, the, this level is is flooded completely. Giant demon eyeballs are floating around you, <laughs> and you're inside this uh, air duct that's now flooding in with water. What's um, what's what are you doing now? Gosh, um. Well, I've lost my sandals to the tide. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I like how your fashion choices are. Okay. <laughs> hey, what about your keys? Hope you haven't lost those. My hat, uh, I didn't even know I had them, honestly, so who knows. Um, it's a universal truth. <laughs> it's a universal truth. Uh, uh, Having them doesn't mean that you knew you had them. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, so what? So let's see. So we fell. In, so we're in the air ducts, right? So we we fell into the hallway with the demons. Oh no, um, eyeball demons. Um, I hear these are run of the mill demons, though, like pretty standard. So I'm not too worried about them like killing us, especially since they're busy crying right now. Um, and who wants water in their eyeballs anyway? So um, anything attractive, cinnamon cake is happening. Uh, right that yes um and um so i know that my friends are hurt and now that the water is even higher probably aren't having a good time so i come and uh try try and at least keep shaw up above water since she's bleeding out <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Craig. Hello. What What are you doing, Craig? Is this like this the section of of ducting that y'all are in is is now slowly sinking into the water, surrounded by demons? <laughs> Even though all this is going on, I'm just craving cinnamon gum. I just really want some cinnamon gum. Um, my mouth is kind of nasty feeling. I'm dying for cinnamon gum, and my ankle is killing me. Like I. I I don't know if I want to get out of this thing because swimming is going to hurt. Crawling was the only thing that felt okay. Uh, mm. And my ankle hurts that badly. But 
you know, got to breed. So I, I'm, if they're taking care of themselves and I'm kind of just over here, gimped ankle, I'm, uh, I'm going the opposite way of them to see if I can get out of this duct, get into the water and swim to something that floats and get to a higher level. All right, let's roll some dice. All right, so you have narrative control. What happens? Positive, negative, you're in control. I get out the duct, I pop up, and I look around, and it's just flooded. The whole level we're on is flooded. And I see everybody. All four of us are in the water. Eyeball demons in the water. Furniture is in the water. There's just everyone is in the water. And that spiral staircase that we came down earlier... There's another one like that, but it's on the far end, and we've got to swim to it. So, uh, Niall is helping Sha and doing like the lifeguard thing and trying to swim towards the staircase. And then Craig and uh, Johnny Blaze winners <laughs> are swimming on their own. Blaze is doing a much better job than Craig is, just because this ankle is agonizing. All right. And Blaze gets there first to the staircase. Okay, so Blaze, you get to the staircase naked. Uh, the, uh, Sorry, I have my satchel on. in the shower. Just your satchel's on. Yeah. <laughs> just his satchel on. Yeah, just the That's satchel. why I swam faster than everyone else. <laughs> a magic satchel. All right. What, yeah, what's, what's going on? You see this playing out. The, the, the demon eyeballs floating in the water. Um... You know, the, the people flailing and such. Well, I see my former companions swimming around and flailing, and I pull out my revolver, and I point it at each of them alternatively. Like, I keep kind of going back and forth and say, I don't know which one of you was the one who locked me in there, but it's your fault that we're in this mess. Right. It's really not anyone's fault, but, you know, um, I'm so angry. Why don't you roll some naked dice? Okay. Are those special? Dice? Oh no. Well, so there's a problem. Oh no. As as you're waving this gun around, your satchel barely covering things, and you're saying, this is all your fault, this is all your fault. Your finger slips and the gun fires. He's naked too, right? Yes, he's naked. Okay. <laughs> I have a satchel on. With the satchel. The gun fires. And Everything goes dark for Craig. Oh, no. So, Craig, Help. please please give us the, the last moments, the last thoughts going through your mind as you see this naked man on the stairs with the satchel waving a gun around and you hear the gunshot. What are the last few things? Suddenly, it, it wasn't my ankle that hurt. It was my eyes that were burning. I didn't know if it was from things in the water or from the sight of this naked satchel wearing West Coast man standing on the staircase. But as I went Glorious. to hurl an insult at him, all of a sudden I just couldn't swim anymore. The left side of my body went limp. Then it got warm. Then it got even colder. Colder. And I couldn't swim. I tried to keep my head above water. And I tried to call out for help, and I tried to reach up for help. I tried to hold on to something, to anything, but it was then I knew that I, I had been shot. The noise I heard was the gun, and that fucking hippie shot me. And it just started to get <laughs> darker and colder, darker and darker. Dark. Slipped under. Um, we're going to extinguish a candle. And as this candle extinguishes, so does Craig's life. Oh, my God. Dean, thank you for playing with us this evening. Um, you, can, you can stick around if you've got the time. If so, please turn off you your camera. Him off. Okay. You, go. you killed him. Oh, okay. You killed up. Okay. You killed up. Okay. The only guy who knows how to play the game. Okay. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. I told Jeremy, I have work in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Some people need to die. Oh, I died. <laughs> So thank you, thank I'm you. I'm gonna for watch for a little while longer. Yeah, uh, but please turn it your camera off and, and mute your microphone.
Um, all right, so uh, we're down to four four candles. We need four truths. As always, the ever-present truth, the world is dark. Uh, going around the table, next would be, well, let's see, the last two pieces at the bottom. Um, Blaze, please speak your truth. Okay. Um, uh, Niall's grandma is a trained helicopter pilot. <laughs> Perfect. Niall, please speak your truth. Um, Niall's grandma is blind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, former lives and such. <laughs> All right. Um, Shah, please speak your truth. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, Blaze intended to kill Nile. Ooh, nice. That oh no. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about <laughs> you thinking for me. <laughs> for my character. Kill Nile, but missed and killed Craig. <laughs> All right, our fourth truth will be. Um, the I demons are closing in on Blaze. And then as it stands, as it is now, and we are alive. And we are alive. And we are alive. All right, so <clears throat> Blaze is on the stairs, naked. With a satchel. Just fired off the shot. Missed Nile. And hit Craig. Craig's body sinks beneath. As it starts to sink. You know, he was afflicted. Right? So as, as his body starts to sink beneath. And kind of go into a floating position. His um, chest and abdomen burst open. And there's a giant eyeball. Demon just oh. burst out of him. And oh my god. That eyeball and the other demon eyeballs in the water are now closing in on the staircase. But Niall and Shaw are still in the water between um Blaze and and this oncoming horde of eyeballs. So what's what's happening? I think you just said what's happening. Well, what, what, <laughs> what <are you? laughs> no. Uh, 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 okay, so there was a gunshot. So let me let me ask this. Um, and now there's a <laughs> minor clarification on one of the truths. Um, Blaze intended to kill Nile. Is it obvious to everyone that Blaze intended to kill Nile? But as a um, West Coast hippie, it's just not as good of a shot on the second try. Uh, yes, I think he did tend to. Uh, he he made it obvious only because of how he reacted in the. Oh shit! I didn't mean to kill him. I meant to kill. Huh. Ooh, okay. it, Ella. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Damn it. I meant to shoot the other guy. Ah. Uh, do you know what? Maybe I should... I really should shoot both of you. I can't believe you guys. But tell me, give me one good reason why I shouldn't shoot you both right now. I got bullets left. I know you haven't been counting them. Uh, uh, I know how to fly a helicopter. You know how to fly a helicopter? Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what good does that do? It wouldn't. Is there like a helicopter nearby? Well, yeah, my grandma parked hers on the the boat roof. Oh. <laughs> the boat roof, yeah. Well, that is. Why didn't you tell us this earlier? I I ran it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think absolutely too like many smelly things in my bag have been messing with my head. Yeah, cinnamon does that. I hear. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how we got here. I don't know what happened to grandma. Oh, you don't know where your grandma is? No. Of course. I mean, like, I, okay. So I know where my grandma is. Okay. But I don't know where my grandma is. <laughs> um, I would ask you to clarify, but there are eyeball demons who are <laughs> rapidly approaching. <laughs> I'm afraid yeah. that I did. <laughs> so you're not going to shoot me now is the, the conclusion of that you know what this is a this is a situation where i'm gonna ask questions first and then shoot later <laughs> okay good <laughs> i knew i could count on my weed guy to not murder me <laughs> you never paid me for that by the way uh, yeah i did did you oh i must be the weed i can't remember these things. <laughs> <laughs> so sean this this conversation is happening you're floating in the water uh nile is keeping you afloat as you're still uh -huh. you're, and from being shot yeah the the your <laughs> the blood has been drained you know you're you're almost ashen uh, uh huh what's what are i you... feel the mysterious urge <laughs> <laughs> go on is that the title like <laughs> title caps mysterious the mysterious urge <laughs> i feel the mysterious <laughs> urge to pluck one of the eyeballs. All right, you want to roll some dice <laughs> from, from sit ceiling wall. I mean, sorry. Um, and I eat it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's mysterious. That's nice. That is that is an urge. You got to control those urges. <laughs> okay, please, please roll the dice. Br bruh, wait. You're kidding me. It's tweet ass. Oh, it's sorry, okay. Sorry. Just refresh and I'll hit the update button so you can have dice. Yep, yep. Sorry, wait. I need... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay give me the dice. Right, mm -hmm. Roll them up. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um... Oh my god. Might have been a oh. really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that was a terrible idea. Did, did you have any urge? Did you have any traits <laughs> left? Um, I have. Yeah, I have. I have one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you want to use it? You'd re-roll the three ones and hope for a six. Um, what was my? Sorry. Okay. I stubbornly, as that is my trait. Well, hit the hit the roll button first. Okay, I will roll it. All right. Oh. oh. Nice. So you save the dice. You're you're in narrative control. It doesn't have to be good. It can be bad. It's up to you. But you you have. Okay, control. I stubbornly, stubbornly refuse to die. <laughs> <laughs> Great as choice. That is my vo my vice. So you're you're reaching over to the wall. You're gonna grab one of these demon eyeball things and pluck it off. And I'm gonna eat it. You're just slurp it in. Bite mm -hmm. into it and slurp it in. Uh huh. Like a, a boba filled apple. And. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're just like, 
aggressively like <laughs> like you're not you're not going down like this, right? Um so now that you've adjusted a little bit of this though, you start mm-hmm. to um you you're picking up hints of cinnamon. And that cinnamon is very enticing. Oh. Am I afflicted? It sounds like. Oh, she just went for it. I did, but it seemed to have kept me alive from bleeding out. I have survived somehow, but I am an other. You feel different? Describe it. How do you feel? I feel stronger, but hungrier. That sounds like a song. Uh, that's weird because when I felt a different, Stronger. a mysterious <laughs> urge, I felt much weaker. Ah, uh, <laughs> you must have been of a weaker make, sir. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's uh, what's so what's what's going on now? You've got Blaze up on the stairs. He's been convinced not to shoot Nile with uh, Shaw over on the side, munching on this demon eye, feeling better, but feeling enticed by the cinnamon, the, the scent of the essential oil is still in Blaze's hair. That could be on his head or on his chest, whatever. Essential oils, they just really stick. Well, I don't trust either of you, but you two are all all I have left right now, besides the, the contents of my satchel. Craig's still so. here. He's just a demon now. I thought he died. He straight out died. I mean, though. he turned then... inside out into a demon, as far as I could tell. Mm, I mean, we could try to negotiate with him and see if, you know, <laughs> he could lead the way or something. But yeah, um... Maybe he has a hookup, you know? <laughs> like. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I don't see any more ceiling hatches, but there is a hallway. <laughs> this ship sure is all hatches. It was constructed from ceiling hatches. <laughs> let's press on i think wait do we still have a raft uh, no it's there somewhere I mean, yeah they're just like floating in the honestly debris, i thought so. the raft killed you so i don't know it just squished him a little bit before it exploded the vents so the um yeah so the water is continuing to rise it's now up another two steps there on the staircase these demon eyes are still approaching um, what what are y'all doing? Shah is uh, feeling kind of funny. You know, that conversation's about a helicopter. You're at a staircase. Hi, what are you doing? The last I thing say you let's was... let's keep going up the stairs. Let's see if we can try to get back outside and see if we can get a good sight on that helicopter. For all we know. Granny could be sitting in the cockpit just waiting for Nile. Waiting for Granny. Probably. And... In the... Sounds like Granny would do, right? Yeah. Granny never leaves her helicopter. She's flying. Where did she go? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Granny needs a spin off. It's um... her seeing eye helicopter. <laughs> But the propellers <laughs> are white with red. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm hungry and I'm cold and wet and I'm that dude looks way better naked than I look in these clothes. Like they're soggy. Like how's that satchel make him so pretty? That's because it's, it's hemp. That's the hemp? Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll tell you all about the great powers of hemp if we get out of this one. But... All right, well, that is the most concerning thing to me right now. Um, I want to be pretty. Um, and, yeah, so I'll follow in them. If there's a raft, uh, I'll help move it up the stairs, I guess. Uh, we could carry Shaw on it. Shaw's got the the power of the demon flowing through her. Yeah, I'm f- afflicted. You guys are supposed. Oh well, I, okay. am I slowly dying? Are you guys the last survivor, the two survivors, ish? Sounds like you're alive. 
You said you feel strong. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going up the staircase, and um, there's a there's a door that seems to lead outside. I limp after you guys. Not sure if I'm chasing you or following. Oh, you sound like a very conflicted person. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> afflicted, <laughs> afflicted, <laughs> afflicted, and conflicted. That was probably the title of one of Shaw's albums, "Afflicted and Conflicted." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you so you were trying to get the 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 raft together first, right? Um, so you're trying to grab this raft while you're on the boat, headed to a helicopter, and being chased by the conflicted afflicted. Um, let's see, um, Nile, if you would please roll some dice. Let's yeah. see what happens here with the stairs and the and the stuff. All right. Um, do you want to burn a trait to re-roll that one, or are you good with your roll? Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You're good. All right. That's great because that means I have seven dice. Come on, baby. Oh. All right. Well, you have narrative wow. control. <laughs> I need to rewrite my program. Uh, you have narrative oh. control. <laughs> <laughs> need to stack that a little more wait, in wait, Jeremy's wait. favor. Yeah, right? You oh. make the dice so they're heavier on that one side. That doesn't work with the digital dice. Um, so uh, you have narrative control. It can be positive or negative. You're telling the story. Um, you're working on getting this uh, raft up the stairs, headed towards the helicopter. All right. Um, we're running up the stairs, um, powered mostly by Shah's new found strength. And um, we uh, man, like we're back on the casino floor for a second. And we smell the cheese and the leftover cinnamon essential oils from here. And then um, we're like, okay, well, we know we've been here, so we could keep going. Um, makes it easy to keep track of what floor we're on. And so we are um. This raft is extremely large for three of us. I'm glad <laughs> Shaw is here. But um you know, we're we're trying to get to the, the roof, so yeah. we keep going up the steps, right? So, yeah, so this um, is good, if, right? This is sort of like a, a montage scene yeah. in a movie, right? You're you're oh yeah, for sure. The, the guitars have kicked in. Yeah, the guitars have kicked in, you've got the raft, mm. you're going up the stairs, you're passing by the elevator, you're going through the casino, the lights are going and stuff, and the squishes of bodies are all around the water still pick rising. up a little luck from you know yeah right no the water's still rising the um you're, you're passing through the uh, uh the dining hall through the kitchen through the dining hall uh, there's a little bit of a struggle in the kitchen to get the raft through there with all the kitchen appliances and stuff so uh, why don't you give us a little roll let's see what happens oh okay oh no well that's going to end the scene so as you're struggling oh. through the kitchen with the um, raft, um, you hear some deeper guttural noise, and you look over to Shah, who is you know doing most of the heavy lifting on this raft, but um, you notice something doesn't look quite right in her face, and her eyes are a little different. But also, it looks like she's trying to open her mouth to scream or, or, or growl or something. Uh, but instead of a mouth, it's another eyeball. Oh my god. You want to eat? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you need to uh, extinguish a candle to end the scene. The old candle will do. And we have three truths to say. Um, the ever-present truth is always there. The world is dark. Um, Niall, it was your role that ended the scene. Can we speak the first truth? Um, um, Grandma's helicopter is pink. Love it. Shah, please speak the second truth. Um.
Okay. What? Niall has feelings for Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to add spice into it. Besides cinnamon. I mean, you know. Besides oh, cinnamon. <laughs> It's true. That is my third virtue, yeah. <laughs> Your virtue. Oh <laughs> Your virtuous beauty. Yeah. I oh, imagine. yes. Um, please, please give us please. our third truth. Um, uh, there. The boat is rapidly approaching an iceberg. <laughs> Suddenly, the boat is moving. <laughs> An iceberg near the Caribbean. Where it's been 15 days of darkness. I mean, the whole world is dark. Yeah, it is. Yeah, got, I got real cold. Um, and we are alive. And we are and alive. We are alive. Okay, so one thing I want to point out right now, where we're at, there are three candles. One light represents each of your life force. So, the next time a candle goes out. So do one of you. Uh oh. So um Eat. the uh there there we ended the previous scene, we were in the kitchen, there was a struggle to get through there. Um nothing changed the details here um uh, about that. None of these these new truths. So um as you two notice Shaw is changing. Is metamorphosizing, metamorphos, yeah, metamorphosizing, sure. Um, <laughs> Niall also kind of glances over at Blaze as his satchel hangs just right, and the uh, the the remnants of the the water and the guts glisten across his chest, and thinks, hmm, <laughs> "All right, are they about to make love right now?" <laughs> <laughs> I take my revolver and shoot is myself. This a... Oh no! Is this the LGBTQ part of the D and D? <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I pull out my Bible, and I read a random verse. Um. Romans fourteen eight. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. And then I shoot Shaw in the eyeball, mouth eyeball. Mouth eye. <laughs> All right. So, um, roll your roll your three dice, please. Okay. Ooh. Well, so as you point the gun to shoot Shaw in the mouth eye, this gun has been in the water quite a bit in the last couple of you know hours as things happen, and. As you pull the trigger, it just clicks. You pull the trigger again, it clicks. You pull the trigger again, it clicks. And Shaw's mouth eye... Are those the lashes? I like that. Um, <laughs> sort of start to... Um, the, the gun goes into the eye, and it comes up around your arm. And now, like... She's basically swallowed your arm... <laughs> with her mouth eye. <laughs> oh. And and you step back, shocked, and with everything else going on around you, there's just craziness happening. And somehow, with her now demon powers, the gun that went swallowed in her mouth eye <laughs> is now somehow in her hand and pointed right at you, at your forehead as you're now missing your full right arm, she pulls the trigger, and it fires. So please, Blaze, tell us the last moments of your life, what's going through your mind? All I can think of is, I spent so much time looking at the stars, and I never realized that the stars were right in front of me. Um, and, and then I also thought that Shah really pulled off a Sagittarius moment right here. And, um, 
But in my dying breath, I pull out one last vial from my satchel, and it's um, nutmeg. <laughs> and I don't know if it affects demons in any way, but I, I throw it up in the air. A real, like, nice flourish. And then I collapse. And with your last dying breath, we lose a candle. So please, if you would, uh, mute your microphone and turn off your camera. All right. Uh. All right, so there's there's two candles left. Um, we're getting two truths. The um, ever-present truth, the world is dark. Niall, would you please speak your truth? Um. Mm. I'm sure there's one in there. Uh. Um, um, uh, um, mm. everything that comes to mind is just so random. Uh, um, there's, What's what's relevant? What what's going on here? Well, so in the scene, um, right? You just watched Blaze go down in a uh huh in an attempt at a blaze of glory. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> you saw some some crazy demon trickery going on there with eye mouths and guns appearing and disappearing and whatever, and uh -huh. you know that this the the eyeball shot demon. Is right there in front of you, and it just you know pulled the trigger, pointing the gun directly at Blaze. Um, mm -hmm. You're probably next. So what what's 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 the truth in this moment? Um. Uh. 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 Mm -hmm. Nile can't carry the raft on his own. All right. Thank you for the summary, by the way. Well, can't carry the raft on his own. Shaw, please speak our final truth here. Um, hmm. Nutmeg is a very potent Enhancer. Oh no. <laughs> For... And Sha is about to combust. Ah, alright. So, Die. Uh, nutmeg, is, nutmeg is combustible to demons, is what you're saying. Yeah. So potent. she has a few minutes. Alright, and uh, for this, we can say, at least for now, and we are alive. And we are alive. And we are alive. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ish. the that's the scene, right? So there's the 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 shot demon eyeball thing with the gun pointing forward. The nutmeg just flew up, hit you know the ceiling. The vial burst, and now there's this cloud of nutmeg coming down. Um, are the burners still on from earlier when you were in the kitchen? Oh shoot! Uh, I assume so. I don't think anyone turned them off. So, well, but we were running out of gas very quickly, so probably not. Maybe I don't know. I'm asking you: Are the burners still going? I don't know. Okay, so the burners uh, are still going. Burners are still going. Burners are still going. Um, uh, but I don't notice that because um, I wanted that guy to survive, <laughs> um, and I'm distraught. <laughs> Um, 
And also, she just ate his whole arm and stole his gun and shot him in the face. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to run and book it. Grandma, here I come. All right, so as you're turning to run up through like the, the dining area to get to the roof, um, what is Demon Shaw doing now? What that? <laughs> Dying. <laughs> All right, so the, so the nutmeg cloud is explodes over the top of you, and you see uh, Niall is turning to run off, and... I don't know if you uh, know how powders can work, but there, there's even been like large explosions at like flour mills and things like that because the oxygen between the particles as it sets on fire can actually cause a huge explosion, even on things that aren't necessarily mm. explosive. So this cloud of nutmeg is big enough and dense enough um, that as it's... Is that a Swedish fish? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm getting some visual effects here. <laughs> as as this cloud sort of like falls down towards the um, the the ovens and the stoves that are still burning from earlier, and Demon Shaw turns towards you. Um, Shaw, would you please roll the dice? Oh, and eat the fish. <laughs> Okay, double sixes. Ooh. Oh my god. And I didn't get any sixes. So, you're in narrative control. Um, describe how whatever happens, happens. It can, you know, be your end. It can, you know, there's there's all kinds of things set up. It's up to you. What's happening? I am combusting. I'm combusting a nut, Meg. I'm busting a nut. Mag. Busting a <laughs> okay, so... And the ship really starts sinking because there's a whole Titanic situation here. And Niall is going to be taken down well, we, as well. We can't say what happens there yet. But so, this, okay. the, so the cloud of that bag, it hits this, the, the, the stoves, the fire from the stoves, there's a big explosion. <laughs> and uh, for a second, you know, the scene is from the outside of the ship. It's been kind of listing and, and sinking a little bit. This huge fireball shoots off the side. And it lifts back the other direction and it's going down quicker and quicker. So Sha, what is the last thing that goes through your mind in these last moments of your faded existence, afflicted um, existence, before you I I explode into nothingness? I really dislike cinnamon. In fact, I really do not like any cinnamon. I don't even eat cinnamon. Hate it. But that's what's my last thing that goes through my mind. <laughs> right, well, we're going to uh, extinguish a candle. Oh. And Extinguish me? Yes. The candle mm -hmm. is extinguished. Um, your existence is complete. Uh, please mute your microphone and turn off the camera. Bye. 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 Right, we... Rip shot. <laughs> We are down to um, a single candle, there's a single truth, and a single life. Um, as always, the world is dark. Please, Niall, speak the final truth of the game. And full of terrors. <laughs> um... Um... Psh. Uh, Niall's grandma is still alive. All right, Niall's grandma is still alive. <laughs> and she I... hasn't even actually been here yet. There's so many truths about her. <laughs> <laughs> as as you were the only one left to say this, um, it's not we're alive now. It's I am alive, and I am alive for the moment. So we have the, the, the single candle burning. And Niall's grandma is still alive. And I am alive. <laughs> 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 so the uh, these eyeball demons are all around. 
the, there's been this explosion. You're kind of like thrown back into the into the dining area from the from the explosion. The shrapnel. Um, you've got like a like a, a piece of a ladle, like stuck in your arm. Um, a hinge from one of the the refrigerator doors stuck in his shoulder. Ugh. Like there was some some major shrapnel in his explosion. Um, okay. Where what are you doing? All right. Um, as I've been penetrated by kitchen paraphernalia, I groan. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound that way. Um, I, I swear, I promise. Um, and I, I, I <laughs> no, I uh get, I I I get up. It takes some effort, but I do it. And I got my eyes set on the stairs. It's it's fiery and watery. Like there's there's not anything I haven't experienced today. Except for and Earth. you've had wind, fire, and water. I think the nutmeg counts. Oh. Um, <laughs> and um the Pop Tart maybe. And so I just I have my eyes set on the stairs. I know grandma's just sitting up there in her helicopter waiting to save us both so i i trudge towards the stairs and i'm limping a little bit because my shoulder hurts <laughs> and um i climb i climb the steps one by one it's hot on um, my bare feetsies um also i kind of hate nutmeg now um and uh, uh, I'm just waiting to see Grandma's pink helicopter. Like that is what is keeping me going right now. Okay. Uh, roll your dice. Um. All right. So you uh, retain narrative control. Um. So describe what happens as you approach the top deck. Um. As the, the ship, there's, I get you know, to, I get to the boat roof <laughs> where the helicopter is parked. <laughs> the helicopter parking area on the boat roof, okay? <laughs> and the pink helicopter is there just like I knew it would be. Yes. A vision... Grandma didn't get impatient and leave without me. It's probably because she can't see that iceberg that we are quickly approaching. Um, but we tell... I see it. I even see Grandma. She's sitting in the in the, the driver's the seat. Cockpit? The driver's seat, the driver's yeah. Seat, yeah. And <laughs> um and I I keep trudging. I'm going slow. I'm tired and cold and wet. My friends have all died, if I could even call them friends. And friends, potential lovers, all kinds of things. C former, companions, former companions, as it were, <laughs> and the ship is continuing to sink. Yeah, it's. it's the, the, I'm going the, down. I'm going forwards. I'm trying to go up. Is starting to slide a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So things. I thought things were urgent already. They're even more urgent now. And so I run, even though it hurts. Okay. And I get and and, and I I get all the way to the helicopter. To the helicopter pad. That's all the dice. All right. Huh. <laughs> I can't click. There we go. Huh. All right. So um, you still have narrative control, um, but this can't end well for anyone. Mm -mm. So please explain to us um, how, how this is going to end for Niles. I get to the helicopter. I see Grandma and her her gray curly hair she's got her her pearls on and her sunglasses and uh and her bingo sweater and um and i'm like yep that that's grandma i said grandma everything's going wrong you gotta get us out of here let's go and I, I start strapping into the helicopter and as i do she turns to me with an eyeball for a mouth 
showing up. And I, oh, oh shit, she's going to steal my gun and shoot me in the face, even though I don't have a gun. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I immediately start trying to unstrap myself from the helicopter, but it's too late. And, and grandma's, grandma, uh, opens up a mouth from the eyeball, secret mouth, and swallows me whole. Swallows you whole. Yep, just the vor at the end. So as, as you're swallowed <laughs> by this mouth and an eye and a mouth. Um, in a grandma. In a grandma. In a big helicopter. <laughs> in a helicopter. On a boat. <laughs> in the ocean, about to hit an iceberg. Um, in the Car Caribbean. In the Caribbean, <laughs> yes. What are the last few thoughts that go through your mind? What's a great satchel? All right. Well, and with that final thought, we extinguish the final candle. And uh, the credits roll. So if... Um, um, I know that uh, Dean had to take off. If... Um, Tyler and Shaw could turn the cameras back on, rejoin, etc. Recenter myself. Oh, um, I I took down my setup and everything, so I'll just um. Okay, voice is fine. Okay. Voice is fine. That was fun. Um, so yeah. I was gonna ask a few questions, um, and um. Blaze, since you went down first between the three that remaining, um, kind of, can you describe us your your character's arc? How did he feel throughout the this experience, these last few hours of his life, and what was some of, sort of like where he started and where he ended up, and what he felt along the way? Well, his goal was to be um, to be someone who spread the the word about essential oils or um i guess kitchen spices because i don't really know essential oils very well <laughs> um but he was kind of all for himself in the end and he unfortunately got betrayed many times over well maybe not many times just once but unfortunately his his selfishness got the best of him and led to some untimely deaths so uh yeah he if he could have done it differently, maybe he would have. Yeah, well, thank you very much for playing with us tonight. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Apparently, I've been streaming with the wrong microphone the whole time over to the side of the desk. I thought I was sharing the same microphone between Discord and uh, the stream. My apologies. <clears throat> oh. Hopefully, everybody can suddenly hear me now. <laughs> um, so, uh, Shiloh, can you tell us sort of the... Um, the, the story arc, how how Niall felt like coming into the situation on this cruise with Grandma and things going south, meeting this we fine specimen west. and and you know how things went out. Meeting this fine specimen. Um I, he felt a lot of things. He was not expecting the end of the world by any means. Um, or the end of the cruise ship, for that matter. Um, he, you know, he, it was transformative if he hadn't died at the end, probably. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't think that, um, that <laughs> I don't think he was dressed right for the occasion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he never got to get warm. Not even the fire. Not even the fire. Oh, you said your feet were hot. His feet feet got hot from the nutmeg. That's because he didn't have sandals anymore. Right. Um, so, I don't know. Well, thank you very much for um, playing with us tonight. And yeah, thanks for inviting me. The willingness to uh, stretch out of your comfort zone there with some uh, strangers <laughs> and and strange things. 
Woohoo. Um, Woohoo. Uh, Shaw, are you still around? Uh, we'd like to hear some, some final thoughts on your character if you are. Oh, she said she needs to be away. Um, okay. but she's, she's listening. I think she's like taking off her makeup and stuff. Oh, that's terrible. It was fantastic eye makeup. Yeah. For, for a, <laughs> an eye themed whatever. Um, well, uh, also to, to, to Dean, um, thank you so much for joining us tonight and, uh, being willing to try out role playing for the first time. Um, and, and Shaw, thank you for, for joining us as well. And just really appreciate everybody's willingness to, uh, try out some, some new things. Um, Tin Candles is, it was, uh, created in 2015, it was a Kickstarter. Um, it's a fun little system. Uh, I modified a few things to play online with folks and obviously I made a website to manage the game while we're playing, but, um, it's, it's kind of fun to tell this, you know, we know from the beginning, everybody's going to die. It's this tragic horror story and, um, everybody kind of gets to direct where things are going. So it's fun. I appreciate, um, all the new followers. Um, if anybody's interested in playing sometime, um, you know, reach out. Um, I really enjoy the system and there's a lot less setup than some other games like Dungeons and Dragons or <laughs> Pathfinder or things like that. Um, so it's easier to kind of do a pickup game as well. Um, and I, you know, each and plus you don't even have full control over your own character. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, one thing that, yeah. Right. Um, so this is the third game I've streamed, but the fourth game I've run in the last like week. Um, and one thing I haven't been streaming is the setup. So there is a piece to the beginning that, um, Shia was referencing there with, uh, the, the character setup, but, um, it's, it's kind of fun. And it's kind of a surprise too, as, as people play it. Um, but yeah, there's, there was the talk about traits and virtues and vices and all that. And there's some setup stuff we do before stream, but, um, it's fun stuff. Um, Again, thank you everyone for for hanging out. Um, I think the next thing I have scheduled is the uh, Discord Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I'll have to check again. I think it's this weekend, but I'm not sure. I have to verify that. But um, let's see. And always need to rate a friend. Um, Shiloh, do you think uh, some retro gaming or some music? Mm. Let's do music. Music. All right. So we're going to raid. It's Tanuki. She um, played in one of the recent games as Mikasa, a um, Japanese hacker looking for vengeance for her family. See if this will work. Uh, the raid has been created. All right. So thanks again, everybody, for hanging out. Um, and please uh, hang with us for a minute for the raid. And see you next time. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Um, the raid has happened. Yeah, oh. I'm going to kill my stream and...